to all corruption and rupture. My legal book is fucked up. I'll feast on you. I'll fuck you in half. 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 I'll see you in half. I'll see you Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I am the best guy ever. Send all your money to patreon.com slash best guy ever. Uh, there's also these other people, but don't send them money. Here's uh, the Devu. Hi. <laughs> Here's uh, Endless Jess. Ohio fuck. <laughs> Monkey <laughs> Jones. Hey, guys, don't tell Nate, but I'm hiding under the, under the table. Well, that's oh. an original meme. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and Digibro is here. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, thanks for being here. All right, hey, okay, guys, let's. It, it uh, deserves we... mention that we were gonna have Ben on this episode, mm-hmm. but uh, <laughs> Ben spontaneously regrew his virginity and couldn't be here. <laughs> 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 this is uh, this is this is mature men only. There's no room yeah. for. I think we decided a rule. Uh, what was it? If you go for, I think we said six months without having sex, you regrow your virginity. It just comes back, right? Which, oh. uh, that time frame is completely. First of all, it was. I think it was like two years or something. <laughs> it was one year. <laughs> one, one year. year. I don't and know. Second of all, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking more like five. I can't be on this be episode if we keep Whoa, this rule. That means that, if, <laughs> that means that if you space it out strategically, you can lose your virginity every six months for the rest that's of right. your life. Oh, shit, <laughs> that's the goal. That's, that's the wait, most, wait, wait. That's the perfect life. <laughs> time out, Nate. What's all this virginity talk? What is this episode even about? This episode is about. Virginity. That's what the episode is about. I. It's a well, weird the topic. The lack thereof. The even. lack thereof. That's true. That's true. Because yeah. every man in this call has, in fact, lost his virginity. Though he wait, may have grown wait, it back at some later point. That's what this is about? Losing your virginity? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, shit. Okay, sorry, guys. I didn't mean to waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> he actually dropped out of the call. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I'm back. Oh, it's it's uh, uh, did Jumkey you, Moans did you, is here. Did to you tell lose your virginity just now? <laughs> yeah. I ran off, I ran off to fuck Jumkey, and now I'm back. Okay, great. That's fantastic. So uh, this is we're thinking about doing this just round robin style, telling stories. I mean, I'd like to talk about virginity itself at some point, but it's more fun to just talk about the <laughs> we're, fucking stories. We're, we're all such funny guys. You know, it's no wonder yeah. we've all had mm-hmm. sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're so charming. Is yeah. it any wonder we're irresistible I mean, to the broads? You, you should see no. me on my A-game, dude, with my, my, my van outside the back of the club. You know, a woman comes out for a cigarette. I, 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 I entice her with magic tricks and sleight of hand, and then I clock her on the head with a bowling ball, get her in the fucking van, and bam, that's how you lose your virginity, folks. Wasn't she already bowling. enticed? Why did you have to clock her out? It's a, it's, it's, it's a complex dance. No, you wouldn't understand. It's a, it's a back me. and forth. Yeah, they want to be clocked. Believe they want you. the caveman thing. Thing. This seems like mm-hmm. a very Dennis method. He, of he has he <laughs> has to use bowling balls because he only goes after gutter sluts. <laughs> <laughs> I actually meant to say bowling pins because you actually can juggle those, but uh, no, nah, it's bowling balls. Yeah, you hit them what, with bowling balls. What size bowling ball do you use? Because I need to practice this method. Um, the bowling balls I keep in my jeans, dog. Oh, oh there, yeah. you there you go. There you go. So okay, weirdly Christ, small, and is... it takes several slaps to get the job done. <laughs> that would just hurt you. So we're we're recording, we're recording this episode in celebration of the fact that Uh-oh. Devu lost his virginity. That's right. Oh, what? And that's, that's right. That's, Congratulations. That's why. That's why I propose we do this episode now because because uh, it's a it's a a toast, if you will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Devu Excuse. lost his virginity to someone in this room, but who is it? <laughs> Find out on the procrastinators. What what kind of what this this quote unquote room that we are recording in? Of <laughs> it, course, it, it, it was it was Digi Bro in the kitchen with the candlestick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> with the candlestick. You're tearing me apart, Davu. Uh, okay, now Davu. Uh, I, I don't want to uh, you know be accused of, of coercing someone to kiss and tell, but perhaps you could give us some some That's tasteful information about. Well, you know, I, I was I, definitely I, coerced into this episode. That's right. That's right. He didn't want to. Well, we forced him to. Just like I, he did yeah. with the girl that he lost his virginity to. There was some forcing going on there. He, he forced himself. Uh, we forced him by providing him with a list of topics and him writing his name down on the <laughs> list of topics for this episode. That's sure. how we forced him to That's be on point. here. <laughs> okay, Davu. Tell tell us the tale. Tell us this this hot 
fresh tale because we're all very curious. We don't know anything about this. Uh... Wait, hold on. I gotta get my lotion and tissues. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Let's um, do it. You are now listening to erotic right. stories from, from real, real men. men. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had sex. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Now, hold on. I want to hear someone else tell the story first to like, so I get an idea about like. Yeah, I think it'd be better if someone who's the rest of us have had years to like to you know to take come up with a convincingly cool sounding story. Of yeah, it. yeah. Well, yeah. well, to figure out what the heart of the story is, what's the mm -hmm, real mm -hmm. meat? Like, like the fact that we got laid is the cool part that makes us look cool. But like, mm -hmm. yeah, you could just say I had sex. And I it's don't like, know well, about you, you guys, get all the props. But, but, but now I now mm -hmm. I just look at it more as a like. Uh, how can I make this story as hilarious and wrong as possible is now what I want to focus on, you know? <laughs> so Yeah, there's that. And and everyone knows, every every real boy knows that sex is the culmination of a a, a lifelong struggle and battle to obtain ultimate victory for one brief moment, <laughs> uh, which continues for the rest of your life, you know? At first, Nate, I thought you were going to read the Urban Dictionary definition maybe of I, sex. Maybe I should, dude. Maybe Let's go check that out. Well, Nate, do you want to be the first to tell your story? Uh, sure, I'd, I'd be happy to. Um, let me just see if there's okay. an interesting description here. Uh, what I ask kind because of... I feel like I feel like Nate's story <laughs> might be comparably normal compared to the rest of us. So uh, I want to I want to have us I like establish. I have no idea what my story is, and you just automatically <laughs> assume Monkey's virginity story is going to be embarrassing. Well, I didn't say well, embarrassing. Tell me that it's not. not tell me that it's not. Um, I, I can't say that my story is going to be normal in any sense of the word. Well, I'm of assuming course, that like course. it involves time travel and like a net <laughs> and like a beam saber, <laughs> some kind of helmet that makes that makes monkeys smarter, something like that. Okay, so so here we go. Here's like Wait, a. Do here's we the... fuck the little girl from Ape Escape? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you fuck someone lady. from Ape Escape. I don't know that it's the little girl <laughs> or a human from that game. You got fucked by the net. So, so listen to this fucking description of sex on Urban Dictionary. Uh, here's the description. Sex. What kind of moron are you that you look up sex in the Urban Dictionary? <laughs> oh, and that's they got it. You. That's the entire. They got <laughs> me. They got us. Oh, man. These fucking smug cunts. All right. Pretty anyway. Epic joke, XD. Uh, okay. So let me, I'll, I'll tell you my tale. Um, so uh, I lost my virginity when I was 21. So late, late bloomer for sure. Um, I was in college, I was a senior, so I had had a girlfriend, and y you know, the thing about sex is that no guy wants to admit it, but it's like a, it, maybe this is just me, but I'm like, uh, kind of obsessed with sex, in that I think about it all the time, and how to get it, and yes, whether Nate, or not, Yes, no guy has you know, ever admitted yeah. that. <laughs> it's, a I, deep, I, I, it's, <laughs> it's a secret to everybody. I don't know how important it is to every guy out there in terms of their self-identity, uh, which is what I'm trying to say. Literally all that matters, I would literally, say. Okay, good. It's probably right. high on the list of um, the only thing that matters. A list consisting ex solely I would, of I would, sex. I would describe myself <clears throat> as nihilist except for sex. <laughs> That's the one thing that matters in this life, yeah. So Nate, when you're talking you continue, about, could I, could yeah, I real quick, ahead. I don't typically care about other people's feelings, mm -hmm. but as a longtime researcher of virginity, I think it'd be <laughs> best if we avoided saying things like, "Oh, 21, I was a late bloomer." Like I'm guessing yeah. a lot of people listening <laughs> yeah. are older a... than that and also virgins. So I'll oh, maybe geez. avoid that kind of phrase. I mean, I uh, okay, I, I will, I will. Um, <laughs> But uh, sensitivity but I, training with Monkey Jones. Yes, we have to be right. all. We, we, did, did Monkey just give us a trigger warning? Yeah, on this we, video? We, yeah <laughs> we have to make sure this podcast is inclusive for fucking yeah. for for yeah. incels. No, 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 because specifically, I know that people who are virgins over the a certain age are going to go shoot people, and I don't want Nate to be the next victim. Yeah, you know what? Before before I get into that, I, I have friends who are still virgins who are much older than twenty one, and it pains them. Um, and I have such deep sympathy for anyone, for any incels yeah. out there. And I don't use that term. I just, just to shorten to say people who haven't had sex, but they want to. They, they I, know, I empathize, though. guys. They, I empathize. Yeah, no, they know. There's they no know. fucking, you, you can say 21 is a late bloomer. We all know. Uh, half of our stories are going to be over that age, just so you know. <laughs> That's, so like, I, It's just that the I average mean, age for having sex in America <laughs> is like 15 for losing your virginity yeah. or something. So it's... It, it's, it boggles my mind. Average up, baby. <laughs> yes, we are dragging it up <laughs> yeah. by hook and by crook. Okay. Partly, be hey, partly because we're millennials, yeah. and this is a right, social right. thing that that our generation has a harder time communicating and getting laid. Yeah. Uh, so you know, it's a, it's it's partly a generational thing. That's my excuse. 
That was like the most insecure sounding sentence I've ever heard you say. I wanted to make it sound that way. It's a generational thing. That was was the joke. The problem isn't Um, me, it's my generation. (laughs) So go ahead and talk shit. (laughs) Talk shit about me. I got my millennials backing me up, boy. We don't, don't give a fuck, yeah. We won't ever give a fuck, uh, till you, you give a fuck about me. All right, let me get the- my generation. I got a chainsaw. I'll skin your ass raw. That's a different song, but I don't care. <laughs> it's okay. all the same song. It's, it's just one continuous. It's it's all a concept album. I was just so excited that someone made a reference to Limp Biscuit that I had to follow up on it. <laughs> well, I'll tell uh, you, these biscuits ain't limp because we're talking sex here on the Procrastinators <laughs> podcast. How's that's that for right. a segue? Right back on uh, topic. Nate, continue that's your beautiful. story. Okay, um, so uh, so just just he, he, there's a there's a fun bit. So I went to uh, Japan. Uh, when I was so I, I had a, a girlfriend <laughs> in college, <laughs> and uh, never. <laughs> <laughs> Who did I, uh, that? Who's the funniest guy in the world? <laughs> well, well, well done, well done. Uh, that was that was my uh, my jingle for the imagery we all had in our head of the plane flying across the map like in Kill Bill. Yeah. Like, that's what I was imagining. That's I said that's, that. that's Nate flying to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even though, yeah, oh, okay, great, perfect. Uh, Did she on. love you a long time? Uh, well, no, no, actually, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I know I'm a guy who tells way more context than is necessary, but I was just going to say, in, in college, I had a girlfriend, uh, got a couple handies here and there, but never lost my virginity, which really bummed me out. Um, and uh, then I, hope, I went to... I hope this story is just the plot of Beverly Hills Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> with <Nate and> <laughs> Yes, that's exactly what you can forget. If you want the short version, just go watch Beverly Hills Ninja. <laughs> but uh, in additional detail, so uh, I went to Japan like immediately after I had broken up with this girl, and my my I, I, there was a great awakening that took place in me while I was there, and uh, I I was the most outgoing I'd ever been in my life. I went out with my buddy Garif, another guy. I was at this big school where everybody learns Japanese, and me and him hooked up. We met a couple of friends there, and we went out to the red up? light district. We we hooked up in terms of heterosexual brotherhood and partnership to get laid. We were both okay. virgins at the time, actually. He was, he was a couple Not years younger other. than me. Not with each other. Not with each other. But we it became our quest to get laid because he had the worst case of yellow fever I've ever seen, and uh, you know, and we both just wanted sex in general. Uh, but he succeeded while we were there for like three months or whatever. I did not, but. I got so much practice. Guys, go to Tokyo. Go to, go to, I forget the name of the district, but go to the red light district. It's the most fun place I, in the world. I need you can to do whatever you want. J- Nate, it's you nuts. were telling me that the, the methodology these guys were using yeah. um, was to go into bars mm-hmm. and then just like grab women. That's correct. And That's pull them did. aside. I'm a sexual predator. There was a That's language correct. barrier. <laughs> so you guys would just go in and just grab women. And and if they, they didn't run, then they were interested. That means they were down. That meant they were yeah. into it. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it worked. We we actually met a bunch of like, I mean, I'm not going to call them professionals, but like guys who. It's nice to know that some things are the same all over the world. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. We we met guys there who like their <coughs> life was they had come to Japan. There was a bunch of like American dudes from like New York and shit. And there was this one guy I forget his name, but he he started of... wearing Naruto headbands and stuff. <laughs> no, these these guys were just like professional yellow fever like curers of themselves. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Like, it was their goal in life to have sex with as many Asian women as possible, and they allowed us to observe <laughs> their techniques, and it was fascinating. Uh, Nash? No, Nash was my other friend from there. Okay, whatever. The point was, I got a massive amount of experience in a very short amount of time as to uh, how to meet and, and, and manhandle <laughs> women, and it was great. Uh, but I did not get laid in Japan. However, we got back to college, came back to school, and with my newfound, highly honed ninja Asian skills, as in my movie, Beverly Kills Cop, I mean Beverly Hills Ninja, <laughs> I was then able to utilize those ninjutsu arts to, uh, it, it, like, Halloween came, and we just went to a party oh, or something, and, yeah. I mean, it just, the, the, the story was actually pretty cool, like, there was a bunch of, there was a party at this Halloween place, uh, there was this one girl, I was trying to hook up with her, it didn't work out, and I was really bummed that that didn't happen. But then, another truckload of new freshmen pulled up to the t- pulled up to the house in front, they all got dumped out, and on my second major pull of the night, I just grabbed this girl, literally took her out back of the house in the dirt, and we just fucked like animals for a while, and it was Hell fucking yeah. amazing. Uh, <laughs> there was dirt everywhere. Uh, what do were you not- dressed as? I was dressed as... N- nothing. 
Yeah, I had oh. no costume. What? I was just a dude. I was just a dude. I, I had no costume. You I might got have been a laid at a Halloween party without even wearing a fucking costume. I, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. I, the only <coughs> thing I remember what was, was she that I lost as? my virginity at this party, and that was really cool. Because when I came home to all my friends, I was like, guys, I did it. I had sex. <laughs> and everyone was just... I have laid with a woman yep. and formed the men. <laughs> and it was He good. went to the party as a virgin. I, and yeah. I came home <laughs> a champion. Yeah, but when you had sex, as, the though? party was over. She was dressed <laughs> as, she was dressed as. You know what? I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it wasn't actually Halloween. It might have been a little bit later. Because I'm thinking, and I don't remember anyone actually being dressed up as anything. It so was it like fucking. Been, like, it was like Ash sometime. Wednesday. <laughs> 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 exactly. Any excuse to party? Yeah. Um. Anyway, that was it. I, it was just fun. It was. It was just this. This experience of. Going out, learning a bunch of shit about how to deal with women. Then I came home, applied it to these weak white women, and uh, they they fell to me like dominoes before I'm, my I'm mic. Just, my two questions are: I'm just you, amazed you lost it on the like the like in the dirt, <laughs> like just the, fucking yeah, outside like, like, like an animal. It's it, awesome. It was, it was actually nuts. So I met this girl on the dance floor, right? And I had been like I had been bummed out because this other girl it didn't work out with. I had, we had tried to fuck, but we got interrupted. Um, and then I went back downstairs to the basement where everybody was dancing, saw a girl, and God, it was, it was a magical moment. I was so amped up. I saw this girl, said, hey, oh, that's the only word I spoke to her, grabbed her, pulled her to me, started dancing with her, and not 10 minutes later, I had just pulled her upstairs, we were in back of the house, and we were just fucking in the, in the dirt like animals. It was nuts. No words were spoken. Wait, upstairs? It was well, we, we went from the basement upstairs around the back of the house where nobody was. And then we okay. fucked. Wait, is this yep. like a like a like an MC Escher house? I'm like, I'm, I'm <laughs> really. Confused. They, they were in the basement. We went upstairs. They went upstairs, so they went so upstairs to the first floor. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wait. Nate, do you remember her name? And did you ever talk to her again? I never got her name, and I saw what her again fuck? at another party and pretended I didn't know who she was. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Well, she yeah. didn't Fun remember me about either. Sex so does not remove shit? social awkwardness at all. Well, it wasn't it's, about social uh, awkwardness. I just didn't want to have to then deal with the baggage of yeah, having he, fucked her. I'd he, rather he just, just move didn't on. Wa you know? He didn't want to Why suddenly be married. Why not just fuck her again? Well, uh... No, monkey, if you talk I, to her know, after, you know. become married, and that's where it, where it all goes downhill. <laughs> that's the law. Yeah, I, I didn't want to talk to her and get her pregnant. That <laughs> would have been a big mistake. That, yeah, that's Bundy's mm -hmm. law. That's, that's how, how it, it works. That's how it happens in Clannad, so I believe it. Exactly. Okay, there you go. There's my very sloppy story. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, who wants to go next? Monkey, Jesse? I, I think it's wanna... Davu's turn now. <coughs> if he wants. I don't no, know. Maybe we should save Davu for last. You can De just I listen think, to everybody. I think Davu wants to hear everybody else's stories to, yeah. to gauge yeah. his own. Uh, I don't know. Monkey, Did you, why don't you go? go? Nobody's going. Nobody's <coughs> offering. Ah, fine, you bunch of fucking pussies. Good. Go. I'm embarrassed. So, <laughs> it's a personal story, and I I never should have come here. I'm only here for the money. I have to, <laughs> I have to say things about my life for money now. This Patreon <laughs> has ruined everything. Oh, yeah. Patreon.com oh, yeah. slash Patreon the procrastinators. Now, so. Yeah, everybody go. Um, Bonus episode you, every month. If you pledge $500, Digi will take your virginity. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, ah! <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't know what that was in response to, but okay, did he? Go ahead. <laughs> I assume a spider fell on him. <laughs> so... <laughs> No, that was a combination. The of Digi naked. It, it was a combination of thinking about Digi naked and taking my virginity, <laughs> and also, <laughs> and also grabbing my pants. <laughs> there it is. There's that world famous endless Jess meme. There it is. Pants man. Yeah. <laughs> that world famous endless Jess wit. <laughs> so all right, <laughs> my story begins as so many of my stories do on the internet. On the pub crawl, the uh, the the show that I do uh, every week, I still do it. Um, show where I get drunk with my Australian friend Cider, and we talk about whatever the fuck. And it used to be that this show was a live radio show that had a live chat, so people would would you know like interact with us while we were doing the show. I say radio as in internet radio. It, it, mm -hmm. Very few viewers, but um, it was like shortly after my twenty third birthday, twenty third. Something like that. It was 2013, maybe 22nd birthday, whatever. Mm -hmm. I was I was complaining about how I just turned 20 something and still had never had a girlfriend or gotten laid, and I'm just like whining about it. Uh, and then <laughs> someone in the chat is like, "Hey, 
I like you. I'll have sex with you. And I, this is always my reaction. I don't believe you. That always <laughs> how fair. I feel. Very fair. My, my reaction is always like, I don't believe you unless you can prove it. Um, but some, uh, a certain, a certain, uh, persona non grata was in the chat and was kind <laughs> of, uh, Trying to convince them to give more information. Are you talking about Dr. Wolf? Was it Dr. Wolf? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Wolf Dr. got Dr. Wolf got you the hookup, dog. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Well, so, so, they don't call him so the she hound kept, for nothing. Oh! She started expanding Woo! on the information and was like, I'm completely serious. I want to fuck you. I'm a big <laughs> fan. Uh, I am a woman. Here's some pictures of me, you know? And she had taken pictures of, like, like no face just body you know she knows what's but, important uh, she knows mm -hmm. yeah but she had a she had a nice body you know a nice Did enough you request body a shoe on head picture <laughs> you should have <laughs> a shoe on head what is i don't by the way i hate that the shoe on head meme has been co-opted by that girl shoe on head does anyone else resent that i don't know this meme at all all right so, don't worry about it never mind so she so i i tell her like you know uh since she seems serious i'm like here's my skype name so we get onto mm -hmm. Skype and we're talking for a few a few more hours after the show. You know, I'm sauced, I'm open, and we we quickly start talking about it stuff and kind of kind of hitting it off because the only requirement I have to find someone attractive mm -hmm. is that they find me attractive. That's that's all it takes. You mm -hmm. just have to be into me and be at least physically attractive enough that <laughs> I can be into you back and I'm sold. So. By day two of me talking to this girl, we already have decided that we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend now. Hey. Um, Might as well. After yeah. I've, after, after through like one conversation, I've already made her cry because uh, well, I just was like asking. Creatures, and they cry a lot. So I was know. asking about her personal life, which was shit. So oh, she. Oh, what's your dad like? That's yeah, how yeah, you yeah exactly. That's how I you asked what's your me. dad like. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, that might as well be exactly what it was. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, so yeah, I asked her what's your dad like, and and uh, and then we she was totally into me. So cool. it took obviously. Now here's the problem: she lives in Montana, mm -hmm. I live in Virginia, opposite ends of the country. So we're already at the we need to fuck now stage, but we're living <laughs> too far apart, right? Mm -hmm. So instead, it's just lots of sexually suggestive uh, texting and Skype calling, and you know. Uh, and, 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 and flirting that way. Lots of very sexual Skype calls. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, all right, I got to get over there. So I, within, the, like, I would say within a month of our, of our relationship starting, I bought a ticket to, to go to Montana. So I fly out there. And she's waiting for me at the airport in like this super skimpy outfit, which is Holy hilarious shit. because <laughs> it's, the, it's like October. It's like the start of October. In Montana. In Montana, it's yeah, freezing yeah. cold, and she's waiting for me in the car, like, freezing her ass off in this skimpy little outfit, because she was trying to look sexy for me, you know? Um, she'd been taking, uh, she'd been taking birth control m pills, which, uh, I guess, f like, completely fucked with her, and, like, made her have, like, all these horrible <laughs> migraines and stuff, but she Shit. just wanted to be sexy, right? Um, I respect I that so, effort. Good, so good sorry for, for her, yeah. But, uh, but at the same time, made her extremely horny, so... All right. So we go to her place, you know, we, we walk in and immediately we're like, we start making out and stuff, you know, I'm like, oh, I've never, I've never been kissed before. This is happening. You nice, know, nice. got some sick makeouts going on, <laughs> start taking clothes off, start moving towards the bedroom. Now here's where shit gets weird. Uh Oh, oh so, so, all right. How comes that BBC? I know it's going to hit that table. Any sex <laughs> now. BBC? What is that? The big she black cock, big black dog. Cock. Oh, big black okay. Cock. <laughs> no, so what happens is, now mind you, she'd been listening to me on the pub crawl, right? Now, this this girl has listened to me, like, nonstop continually for months. Like, she right, will go right. to, her, her favorite video of mine is my vlogs about BronyCon 2013, uh, which is, like, three mm -hmm. hours of me just describing what happened at this convention. Because she just likes listening to my voice, and so would listen to it on repeat, like, all day. Um... And she had listened to me and Cider talking about like video game discussions on uh, on on the pub crawl, and we've been talking about the concept of ludo narrative dissonance a lot. <laughs> oh, so boy. this is important. Now I know what that is, but for the audience at home, please explain. Oh God! Oh no! See, you're bringing back the trauma. So <laughs> so ludo narrative dissonance is when the narrative and uh, and gameplay elements of a, a story seem to be in contrast with one Watch another. Watch Dogs Two. The, 
um, well, the classic example that Errant Signal made a whole video about was uh, Grand Theft Auto V, where in that game, it's got a very serious four. story. Or four, yeah. Grand Theft Auto IV right, has right. a very serious storyline. Um, and then in between that story, you're just like, murdering people haplessly on the street for no reason. Like, just the mm -hmm. gameplay and story were in, con were in conflict with one another. It's a very debated phrase, especially in the academic world of gaming. I killed a lot of people in the war. It was a very yeah. traumatic <laughs> thing as I run over these seven fucking in people walking yeah. on the sidewalk. So, good man. Now, my ex, she loved listening to me talk. Didn't comprehend a lot of it. <laughs> Not... Not exactly an analytically minded person or someone who studies. Is she mediums. watching this, Digi? No, um, she's okay. dead. I killed her. She's in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how the story so, ends. You're really yeah, good monkey. I'm looking forward to that. Part. And she would. I don't think she would. Uh, she she herself would always say like I don't really. She like she doesn't care about what I was talking about. She just liked that I sounded smart and had a cool voice. Like sure. that's what she likes about my my content. I thought we had to tell so, real stories here. So so she. I'm sorry, so a woman being dumb is the most realistic story I've ever heard in my life. That's right, ladies. I hate all of you. There you go. So so she, so she, I'm in her room, in her apartment in Montana, a very sparse room on a mattress on the floor, right? Whoa. And we've gotten to the point where, you know, I'm naked. She's she's on top of me. She's naked. Ooh. She, you know... She 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 she's always she likes she's always about being on top, right? Likes to control the situation. I think out of out of like embarrassment, sort of. Okay. Like sure. she wants things. Like like like. Yeah, like she wants to be in control because she's shy about it. Essentially. Yeah, I get that. So, so she gets you know she inserts my dick inside of her. All right. And all right. We get the idea, dude. We get what's going me. on here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's no, all more important. Detail, more, more detail. I'm, not, I'm almost there. <laughs> then she, she. Oh she yeah! <laughs> now, my, my, keep in mind, mental image here. I am five foot eight and a half. My girlfriend mm -hmm. was six foot two. Holy so shit! So she is She's a big way lady. taller right. than me. She right? does not deserve a dick. <laughs> so she has because she can easily tower over my whole form, and she's at at this time. I'm probably a uh, hundred and seventy five pounds. You know, she's mm -hmm. like proportional to her height. She's only a little less heavy than me, you know? So, like, like I'm not... She wasn't, like, fat, but she had a little chub chubbiness, and she's way taller than me. So she was physically right, right. much much more imposing than I am. Mm -hmm. So she grabs onto my wrists and is holding them above my head, right? Because she's, she's sort of locked me down. <laughs> okay. Like, I can't, I can't move. And I keep wanting to just, like... I just want to touch. I just want to, you know, grab things. I just want to. I'm seeing all this for the first time. I want to. I want to fucking figure out what it all does. You know. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, what's this thing? I need to. Oh, I haven't seen that one. What, 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 I'm like trying to reach and grab for everything. I just want to touch everything. Mm -hmm. it, it, I'm thirsty. How do I get the milk? I, I want to shove right. my fingers into her eyeballs. You know. I just want to like <laughs> touch yeah. all the parts. Figure yeah, out what yeah. they all do. But she, every time I start touching her, because, I, again, I think she's just like shy about it mm -hmm. she keeps grabbing my wrists and pinning me down <laughs> and then she would just sit there and she was like i'm not like like i'm not gonna move until you uh, explain to me uh, uh, the concept uh, of ludo narrative dissonance <laughs> what, you Fuck. what a phrase what? a phrase no. a phrase which she cannot pronounce she keeps saying ludum in the dissonance oh like God. that. She can't pronounce is, the, the phrase ludum in dissonance. This is next level shit, dude. How did I never so, know about this? God so, damn. I, <laughs> so she keeps telling me, like, explain ludum in dissonance, and then I'll start explaining it, and she'll start moving. Oh, my God. Because she's, like, getting off to hearing me talk. But then once she starts moving, my mind completely goes blank, course, and I can't do it. So, So this is, like... Probably 15 minutes of mm -hmm. struggle between <laughs> she won't do anything unless I start describing Ludo Nero dissonance, and I am just so far out of my element that I cannot possibly describe Ludo narrative dissonance in this situation. But part of what I'm grappling with also is that this is my first time having sex, mm -hmm. but I jack off more than anyone else in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm realizing the difference in feeling here. Yeah. That yeah. that uh. It's tangible. That it's it's big. I think I think uh, I don't want to I don't want to like this I don't want to make this gross, 
But I think she. Make it gross. Make it gross. Make it gross. gross. (laughs) I think it's been gross the whole time. Yeah. I'm already I'm already gay. Wait, no, the opposite of that. Uh, whatever. <laughs> my my theory at the time, she was masturbating a lot. Like she, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I I know this because I would watch sometimes on Skype. She had <laughs> she used all these like dildos and stuff. Mm-hmm. I think she was just a little too wide for me oh, at the shit. time. Okay, okay. <laughs> and that's how he became Dildo Bro, the world's <laughs> famous. <laughs> My point is, I'm just not quite getting the level of grip that mm-hmm. I'm used to, yep. you yep. know? I'm used to my hand, which I can it's manage the tightness of they exactly. They call it the death grip you know? digibro. So, exactly, yeah. <laughs> death grip digibro. Um, so I'm used to, Is that to, where death grips you know, get their name, by the way? Is that? Uh, is probably. That, yeah, yeah, from okay. Digipro. From, from <laughs> Death Grip Digipro. That's what. They heard this story. They were like, that's it, man. That's our name right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, anyway. So, yeah, I'm used to the death grip. But she, she's, she's, you know, I mean, aside from it not being the tightest, she's also extremely wet. Because she comes nonstop. So, like, um, so there's just liquid everywhere, and I'm sliding in and, in and out and around, and I'm, like, it's I'm like trying to figure out... slide on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, like, is this... Like, am I doing something wrong? Or is she doing something wrong? Yeah. Because yeah. I can't get off like this, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so after all this ludonarrative dissonance <laughs> shit, like, finally, we start getting into the meat of it. And we have sex for, I want to say, literally an hour and a half, and I never can come. And, like, I, mm-hmm. she starts okay. to become s- kind of distressed about it, where she's like, you know, she's like, am I fucking up? And I'm like, but I think, it, I'm, I'm like, at this point, I'm having fun. Like, after the whole, all the ludonarrative shit's over, I'm like, <laughs> all right, now I, I'm starting to get the point of this. Mm-hmm. This is starting to be fun. I can, there's boobs here. That's cool. Yep, you know, yep. I can put those in my mouth. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> oh so, you know, my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I'm, I, yeah, I'm fucking up for like an hour and a half. Um, so if we're counting losing your virginity as you have to come, you don't then have to come. You have to insert. I, I, it, it took. It took. Wait, like, hold on. You have to come in a vagina. No, you don't uh, have to come no. to the vagina. You have okay. to insert your dick is what I would say. But, okay, yeah. finish your point. Finish your point. Well, anyway, so I, I just uh, – my point is that it took a really long time because it took mm-hmm. – we okay. probably had sex like two or three times before I before we got the rhythm down. And then it all made sense and it clicked. And it was like, okay, now this all makes sense. Mm-hmm. I know what's going on here. I know – where my dick is meant to go in this, you know, it's not just a matter of sticking it in. It's a matter of that, you know, dude, that, that's perfectly reasonable. Fitting it, you know, no, no matter so, who you're, no matter who you're getting with, there's always going to hey. be some period of adjusting to each other to figure hey. out, you yeah. know, what works. So that's makes sense. To I me. can't help but notice that Ben Saint has suddenly joined the call. Mm. Oh, God. I don't know if he's recording <laughs> audio or if he, hey, if he's, hey, uh, hey, hello, hello, I'm here. Are you recording? Okay. I am recording. <laughs> I am you recording. lost your virginity just in time. <laughs> Wait, this is, is this the ladies? Is this the ladies cast? Oh, it's the a virginity cast. cast. Virginity. It's the stories of how we lost our virginity. You know, cast. Oh, yep. oh yep. well, should I tell mine? Well, uh, was, if you want to, that's his. what the point of this show is. Digi, ben. Digi, that story of yours, you were literally describing like my worst nightmare in life. Of like, <laughs> like I'll 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 get with a person and we'll be mm-hmm. having like a real human intimate moment and she'll be like, yeah, now do like YouTuber stuff, be a YouTuber, yeah, yeah. explain to me things, do an analysis video, no! tell me why Applejack is a real character, Jesse. Tell <laughs> That's me about exactly, Applejack. God fucking exactly damn it! What it was. I when, wish- when you. When I you come I in me, here. I want you to go endless, Jeff. <laughs> 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 I want you to say I'm a demon. <laughs> demon. <laughs> and I want, and I want, and I want Gibbon on guitar in the corner to strum yeah. to strum the beat. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm so sad. I'm so sad that I missed everybody's. Um, I'm well, sure you only, I missed, you only missed two. Uh, You've you only missed, missed me Nate and, and mine. Uh, was it just me? Yeah, it was, uh, me and Digi. Yeah. Me and Digi. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, um, when well, did it come? My, mine's not really that interesting. Um, mm-hmm. I went to college and I, and I met a girl and there was like some drama about would she leave her boyfriend from high school uh, oh, for me. Yeah. And, and eventually she, she was like, okay, I, I broke up with my fucking high school boyfriend. And I was like, oh, sweet. And, and I don't know, we fucking, oh, we like kind of, okay. Well, specifically we were on like the couch in mm-hmm. like our dorm basement and we were like making out and we, and we kind of like started 
yeah, my first time, I kind of like started fucking her like on the couch. <laughs> in like, sounds like he's making kinda. this up as he goes along. In the basement? <laughs> no. No, we were in like the public, we were in like a fucking public basement, like next to like the fucking laundry machines. Uh-huh. And like, uh-huh. I think, I think someone like, we heard someone coming down the stairs like to do their laundry while we were trying to do it. And we were like, oh, fuck. So I think we had to give it up at that point, and then we just, like, I don't know, went back to my room and, like, did it, and it was like, okay. And that's it, basically. There's, there's... You gotta follow in Digi's step and tell us about, like, how she inserted the penis and all, like, the really yeah. gross details. We were, like, <laughs> laying on the couch and, I don't know, mm-hmm. fucking inserted the penis. It's, it was just, it's just normie <laughs> sex, is what it was. It's pretty, pretty... Now, how big the, was her penis? The, 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 <laughs> the only thing not completely normal about it was that we were in, like, a fucking public room and then someone was coming by and we were like oh shit let's go to my room and then we did and then it was just like whatever yeah well i'm glad my story is so much better than that oh <laughs> oh um so so glad ben could make it for this episode. yeah really great contribution <laughs> wait, ben wait, get the fuck out <laughs> wait wait i also want to say that i'm pretty sure i didn't come my first time because I have the endurance mm-hmm. of a fucking of a fucking athlete, <laughs> of a Kenyan gazelle. Well, yeah, I mean, I I'm I'm I'm, as I'm a guy. In my story, I'm a guy. Who, I didn't my first time either yeah. for like an hour and a half. Yeah, I'm so, I'm all yeah. I'm all about I'm a I'm a I'm a slow and steady. I'm an, I'm all about that endurance. That's me. Well, once, with sex, once I, I actually cool. felt I actually felt a, more accomplished once I was able to come in like three minutes. Yeah, like that's yeah, when I was yeah, like, I know what we've, you mean. we've got this down. This, like we figured this out. Because is, now I can do it as quickly as I should be able to. Yeah, the, the story is about people who like guys who like come too fast their first times. Like I don't fucking get it. I don't get how no, that happens. Was, I wonder if that's a bit because of a they meme. probably don't jack off that much. It's probably guys who don't. I don't, don't know. Don't touch their own that dicks doesn't, that much. That doesn't like like going a while without jerking off doesn't really make. Well, I guess well, if I no, go, they, I guess if I go a that, really long time without it, then yeah, like it's 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 I'm fucking hair, a little bit of a hair trigger. I guess I guess that could th- be part of it. Isn't the thing about guys who jerk off a lot, or I mean, isn't like the meme that if you jerk off a lot, like you're conditioning yourself to come as quickly as possible, as opposed to like if you edge or whatever, that's like training yourself to endure longer, right? Right. I don't know if that even makes sense. Well, the thing is, since I was like 14, I've trained myself sort of inadvertently mm-hmm. to make it last longer so I can get my yeah, money's worth. That's good. That's so good. I yeah, basically I, I can, spec myself the wrong way. I can control the exact on. length of how long I want to jack off. It's mm-hmm. all about like, am I doing this because I'm bored and I want it to last all day? Yeah, or am I yeah. doing this because I need to get a quick nut before, like, you know, I just like, I'm anxious or something. Like, I, I use jacking off like a, drinking a coffee. It's a great pick me up, and then I can continue other stuff that I need to do. Dude, somehow the day. it both great, puts yeah. me to sleep at night and wakes me up in the morning. It's, it's, I know it's, it's, the, it's, it's incredible. I don't know how that's possible, but it's amazing. Wait, is that not the case with anyone? N- no, that's not the case for me. Hmm. If I I, hmm. I fucking I focus I focus so much better before I jack off. Like, once I jack off in a day, I'm kind of, like, my focus is usually just, like, fried for the rest of the day. You know, I guess yeah, I just wish that there was no porn really out tired. there that interested me, because I'm always interested, like, oh, hey, how can this narrative bend itself to be even more hot? I don't even understand that. Like, page. women, just look at a woman. That's it. And then, you know, it's attractive or it's the not. other The other day, no, I, no. as I was starting to get sick, because I was so, like, lethargic and and, like didn't want to do anything else. I just jacked off like probably seven or eight times that mm-hmm. day. What the fuck? It was a great time. It doesn't it doesn't take anything from me. I can jack off to literally nothing. It's just okay, like Okay, we're talking about jacking off and shit. Thought. We're too much yeah. we're talking about losing virginity. Nate, so well Ben's get... virginity story was too short. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Nate, that's Nate, true. I j I wanna say maybe <laughs> I mean, maybe mm-hmm. you're normal and I'm crazy, but it's for me. Yeah. It can't it doesn't it's not enough just to like look at a at an attractive woman. I'm tur- I'm turned on by fucking concepts as gay as yeah, that is. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I know what you mean. I, there are certainly things that are more attractive Can't than others. Can't you just come up with them in your head though? I I could I could come up with I can come up with them in my head, but I have so mm-hmm. many I have like I have scenarios that I've imagined like for jacking off that I continually come back to. Like like I have store like I have a sort of library of like 
pornographic stories that I have written in my own mind, and I can remember all of them going back like ten years. You know what? Like, I, I, like some of them are I, some of them are just like random. You know, like like original. Like some of them are original characters. Don't not steal, and some of them are. <laughs> Uh, and some of them are, you know, like anime characters who I've imagined into these certain sexual relationships that I've just held on to that exact imagination for so long. And it's like, the, it's like a spank bank of, but a creative one, you know? I, I, yeah, I know what you mean. I, I used to do that when I was younger and I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't maybe, yeah, I don't really like imagine it for myself. Now I like, now I don't know what it is. It's if, just so easy to Google porn. If I'm, if I'm. I feel like if I'm imagining it for myself, then like it's not as real as if as if like someone else has created it. Like if someone else has created it, I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of. Yeah, like, I mean, I could definitely mm, mm. get off faster to someone else's creation because they're probably better yeah. at it than I am. At least right. at drawing, you know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's hotter if someone else has fucking created it and prepared well, it for me than if easy. I'm just uh, thinking I... of it myself. Just think about it this way, like, you're, I don't think our brains are wired for us to, like, imagine, like, when you're talking about being aroused or, like, sexual attraction, it's not like our brains are, were programmed to, like, for us to imagine things that make us, uh, you know, aroused and then do that. Like, it, it makes sense to me that we're we're built to, like, visually observe a phenomenon that immediately is a more efficient yeah. way of, like, triggering our responses, it's, you know. Just it's more, it's more like it's a real thing that's happening. Right, right, right. Yeah. When I, it, incidentally, I don't know about you guys, but if I decide, like, I want, I'm bored, let's jack off, um, I need to, you know, like, mm -hmm. I have to accomplish a boner first, my method is just to go to A on 4chan, <laughs> because guaranteed, something on the catalog page is gonna give me a boner. I know what That's you mean. my pro tip to the audience. If you're, <laughs> if you need, if you, if you're, like, like, always trying to find something to, like, start, like, you know, get the, because you can't just go right to porn, because it looks gross. When you don't have a porn, when you don't have a boner, porn looks gross. You like, know, I, I don't find myself with that issue much. I usually don't jack off unless I'm already aroused, and that happens, like, all the time, so I don't really have much of a need to do it. Because I consider it a waste yeah. of time to jack off. I'd rather be doing work, except I need to deal with this problem before I can, you know, Well, sometimes, go do sometimes the, 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 the crushing reality that your life is the same thing day in and day out really seeps into your bones and creates a <laughs> lethargy where where you think, man, I should really do work today. I mean, I've already produced literally 12 mm. vlogs and a whole video, but I should really do more work today. Uh, uh, never mind. I'm just going to jack off. I have to – something has to make me go to bed because this is too much. It, you know, It happens. It happens and it makes me sad every time. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to our next story. That's enough about jacking yeah. off for now. Uh, how about Jesse? Why don't you tell us your tale? <laughs> okay. It was a dark and stormy night. A boy was walking in the snow <laughs> with his loyal growl. Growl. <laughs> 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 He was on the outskirts from home. On the outskirts of Ponyville, a dark shadow was cast. <laughs> Nate, don't try to appropriate my memes. Oh, uh, forgive me. It's my <laughs> meme now, baby. I'm the puppy dog boy. You you stole my career, so I stole your meme. <laughs> we can co-opt it. <coughs> okay, my story is a is a story of of of, of perseverance uh, <laughs> through hardship. Onward to glory, onwards ascending to manhood, yes. to godhood, fighting all obstacles, going through them, f having sex. With no matter how many policemen tried this to sounds... stop me, I got what I came <laughs> yeah, for. Yeah, this sounds like it's gonna be a good story for Victor's book. The uh, how to find, um, how to how to get a relationship in just six easy years. Right. It sounds like <laughs> how, 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 this how to escape the friend zone in six easy years. <laughs> right. That's right. what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sounds okay. like a great piece of fiction. <laughs> <laughs> the friend zones for life, baby. Believe it. Shelve okay, that away um... in the fucking fantasy section. And... <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say? Real niggas stay friend zoned for life. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Hashtag babies. Okay, what's go on, Jess? What what else? What else happened? Okay, so this is uh, you know, it was way back in in high school, um, and uh, my. Uh, my my best friend at the time w was a girl whose whose identity I will protect, whose name I won't. I'll give her a fake name. Her name was mm -hmm. uh, Angela Lena. Angela's mom. <laughs> Angela Lena. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so so uh, um, Angelina Jolie. Right. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> 
so uh, she, she was uh, like my best friend. I had a super huge crush on her. I was totally in love with her, but I was very uh, shy. I didn't know about how to make a girl like me. I mm -hmm. was nervous. I thought that she would hate me if I, you know, encroached upon our friendship more romantically, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is always true because women are psychotic. True. Um, right. Uh, so, so I didn't know how to, you know, uh, make it go that next step and you know every we would go to like hi, like high school dances and they would always be so horrible and I hate them because I'd sit yeah, yeah. and I wouldn't you know have the courage to ask her to dance or anything and it was just lame and I hated it all and then I I fucking eventually it was at it was it was at senior prom and uh, she was That's there a make a break all right yeah it was make a break it's like this is my mm -hmm, last mm -hmm. chance if I don't have the courage to dance with her at the senior prom then that's it it's my last mm -hmm, chance and she's mm -hmm. gone forever I'll never do it and I didn't do it, so I was sitting oh. there. <laughs> oh, just what I thought. This was like the <laughs> idyllic high school yeah. romance uh, um, 80s film story. Oh, it, oh, it, it oh, just, oh, just wait. Mm -hmm. So it was at senior prom, and I, and I felt like I was, I was blowing my one, my one chance, my, my last opportunity. I was sitting there sad. I was watching her, you know, on the dance floor having fun. I was off in, at, at my fucking table with my friends, and I, just, I was feeling so low and so down in the dumps. So uh, I just had to get up and I had to walk out through the door out into like the patio because we were at some fancy fucking prom place with like a, you know, a patio or whatever. Right, right. So I just, I walked out the door out to the patio and I just, to, to just stand by myself and just mope around and gaze forlorn at the stars. And I was out there on the patio and this other girl comes up to me who was two grades below me, so wasn't supposed to be at the prom, but I guess she had just snuck in there to, anyways to hang mm -hmm. out because she was fucking, I don't know. Some other guy's date, maybe? I can, I can, allowed, hear, I I can hear a rumbling in the distance. I hear a <laughs> chant coming over the horizon as the story continues. Sex with the young. Sex, Sex with, with the young. young. Sex, Sex with the young. 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 So, so I was feeling sad and rejected and and lonely and I felt like you know I lost my chance. I'll be a virgin forever. Whatever, uh, you know. And I, and I was and I was sitting there. I was standing out there on the patio, and this girl from two grades below me comes up, whose name, wh whose identity I will also protect, um, Adriana. She comes up to me, <laughs> and I remember exactly what she was wearing. She was wearing this like beautiful, like like shiny emerald green gown. Her hair was like down to her ass. She had super long hair. She was magnificently pretty. She was a perfect specimen, perfect mm -hmm. everything, body, young, hot. Sex with the young kind of girl. Jesse, how long was your hair at this time? Uh, my hair was uh, uh, about as long as it is now, back then. I okay. see. So I was a long hair boy back then, too. Um, and so she comes up, and, and she's pretty, and, and she's... Uh, uh, it, it, it turns out, like, I found out years later that, like, every girl in high school had a crush on me, but I didn't notice any of them because I had such a crush <laughs> on my friend. Oh mm -hmm. fuck! So she came up. That's to the me. Victor story, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> this really is the six easy years story, except that you got it much quicker. Well, there was no friend zone here. Well, okay, go go on, go on. So um, yeah, I just remember she came up and she approached me and she talked to me and we just danced. Like she danced with me alone out on the patio. It was like there was Aww. no one else there, and it was like this weird, like like a romantic, like a like a height, like yeah, a teen yeah. movie, like a John Hughes moment yeah. of mm -hmm. me. Like, wow, that's a cool thing. But then, uh, anyways, later in the night, I got arrested. So I ended <laughs> oh, up never, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, ended up, I ended up not uh, following up on that with her right away. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there was a whole big thing with, with um, guns and swords and, you know, the cops. They took my sword. <laughs> what? And I, never fucking, I never got it back either because they put it in their fucking police station. We were, we were fucking on... And we, they the had the cop and they really took your sword swords. that wasn't a cautionary tales of swords joke? No, that was... <laughs> it was it, no, we all... Right, <laughs> why did you have you a know, sword? You should, you should be from thankful, his real Jesse. Life. You I should went be to, thankful. Because I went to prom as a pirate. I had a sword. <laughs> <laughs> this is a so, whole new dimension. The cops took my sword. Is that what the girl came I, up to? They had, me and all my friends, we were on our knees on the side of the road. We were laying on our oh, bellies. They, I had, like, fucking, like, 12 <laughs> fucking guns pointed at my head at one point. <laughs> it was really scary and really traumatic, and they took my sword, and I lost my sword forever. And also, I, you know, and that, so I didn't, and I didn't see Adriana for a fucking year after that. Mm -hmm. uh, um, 
And also, uh, so it was like, so it was it was a year later, and by now I was uh, however old you are after high school, a year after high school, yeah, like thirty nine or something. <laughs> so right, I was, right. <laughs> so I was still a Virgo. <laughs> all these all these long months after high school. <laughs> So um, after that, uh, so it was a year later, and we ended up getting kicked out of our house because of rent stuff, which is why we always get kicked out of the house. My life is just mm-hmm. a, my life is just like an intermittent, intermittent homelessness, peppered by like occasional sex with the young. Right. So like we were getting kicked out of our house. I know Ben can relate. <laughs> 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 it's so true. Yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit. He's, he's a worthless human being. <laughs> okay, what's, what else is going on? Yeah, 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 totally. Agreed on all counts. Yeah, so we we had to move. We had to get out of there. So my mom, you know, mm-hmm. we, we fucked around. My mom picked a house. She fucking, in a little bit of ways. Turns out, out of, out of complete happenstance, this house that we were now moving into was neighbors with the Holy girl who danced with me shit, at the man. senior prom. So Holy shit. She she messages this still counts as John Hughes level. I I don't yeah. think we've lost it yet. Yeah. 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 It's got some extra plot twists, mm-hmm. yeah. but it's it's going in the right the, direction. The action the action scene with the sword fight and the and the guns <laughs> yeah. was yeah. a nice right, little right. a nice little interim. Maybe this, is, yeah, the, the maybe fucking, this is a little bit more Joss Whedon than my, my, uh, than my, my, does, my does, sc- does she die at the end? My, my <laughs> Scott Pilgrim sword fight at senior yeah. prom that ended in bloodshed and carnage and tears. <laughs> Um, yeah, so she messaged me on MySpace because that's what, that was in, that was the fashion at the time. I had an onion on my belt, and we were all using MySpace. And she messaged me on MySpace like, "Hey, <laughs> onion on my belt. What does I, that mean?" <laughs> I, I know all about the onion on the belt. Us, yeah, us, us old us old uh, timers. Us old timers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Back okay, in the grandpa. Day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the fashion at the time. Yeah, you know, you, you, you could get the yellow onions, but if you were the choice white onion if you were a high class bloke. <laughs> so, what about red onions? They're like uh... Foreigners only. Okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you knew they weren't from around here. <laughs> They're red onions. So fucking <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry, okay. So fucking Audrey Lena fucking messages me on on uh on MySpace. She goes, Hey, uh I guess you're moving in next door to me. Whoa And I'm like, Oh my god, 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 second of the yard! Second of the yard And I'm like, uh oh yeah, totally, babe. I was I was real cool on MySpace. Um Yo, so, on the surface so, he was calm. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, was, I had uh, spaghetti all over me. Yeah, there it is. That's the <laughs> yeah. There we go. That, that, that meme. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, I really blundered that one. All right. <laughs> so we uh, we moved into this house. It was a really cool fucking farmhouse with like a huge like a yard. There was like there was cattle. There was like big old fluffy cows in the backyard and stuff. It was a cool house and and it was a big old farm. Like and then like there was a fence at the top of a hill and you just hopped the fence and then you were at her house so we started talking when I moved in and like yeah let's uh, fucking hang out and fucking and fucking hang out and fucking yeah so I fucking so so she she messages me one night while I'm there she's like hey I had a uh, I had a big fight with my dad. I my my dad's a jerk. I hate my dad. I'm, not, I'm like, oh no. What's your dad like? And she yeah. goes, oh. <laughs> so she starts telling me about her dad. So you know. So I go over there. I climb. I climb the hill. I hop the fence. I go over to her yard. We sit on her on her back porch. We have to be quiet because her parents are are sleeping, and 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 so oh, I'm just baby. sitting there on her porch. I put my arm around her. She's she's like crying about her dad. I put my arm around her. We we look at the stars together. We talk. We bond. At night, and we 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 gave a little kiss. I got a little kiss that night. Mm. Nice. And I and on I on the pure. dick. <laughs> hey, 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 don't make my story. This is a this is still an innocent <laughs> you yeah. don't sully it with your porn fantasy. Yeah, you, you're still you're still on the uh you're still playing the uh the Marvin Gay. You haven't yet switched <laughs> over to the yeah. DMX. Yeah. I'm I'm still <laughs> That's right. I'm 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 still I'm still dabbing the the lube on the butthole. I'm not right, pushing right. on it yet. Yeah. So I went back to my house and I went to bed that night feeling so fucking groovy. So like, yes, I have a girly friend. I'm gonna get more kisses. Maybe I'll even see a boob. I was so excited. <laughs> so the next day, 
she comes over to my house and we start kissing more because now it's a, a thing that we do now and now we kiss and we mm. were fucking making out we started making out I started touching boobs I started touching her fucking body pulling her oh got her shirt off got her fucking <sighs> pants off started touching that 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 ooh that little that little hairy 17 year old puss oh <laughs> ah, ah! <laughs> Well, and that's, and that's when altered B. That's yeah. when through the air you just heard that one that one song coming out of the ether. I go hard in the motherfucking paint, nigga. I leave you stinking, nigga. What the fuck you thinking, nigga? Yeah, that was the one. That's no, the, no, this is the, this is the song I heard off in the distance. Bark, arf, bark, arf. <laughs> I got a tiny little puppy dog erection. Stick it inside your daddy with our protection. <laughs> so. So I was touching on the vagina. I, I was holding her, 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 her smaller, her, her thin little, frail, perfect little teenage body in my hands. You know, holding, mm -hmm. uh, holding mm -hmm. a, a young woman's body in in your hands, feeling her, her skin in your palms. You know, you, you, you just realize at that moment, I realized that this is the only thing that's real in life. Everything else is the fucking matrix. This is all that yep. there is. Yep. <laughs> this is all that. This is all that will ever matter to me. This is this is my fucking this is my desert of the real and I am fucking Morpheus. I am Morpheus <laughs> and Neo combined. I am the one. I am all the ones. I'm Jet Li combining all the ones into one one. <laughs> Everyone one, press one, one, one for Munchie. For That's who I am. I am. In that moment, in that moment, my Christ consciousness levels yes. skyrocketed yes. To, to, a, to a plateau never seen before or since by anyone in history. Just and fucking was... holding that small young sexy sex with the young woman in my hands. Yeah! Was, I can still that, fucking picture it in my mind's eye! It gives me power! Moment, in in that moment, in, in California, a being was created by the name of Munchie, who had all the powers <laughs> yes, of this yes. Christ consciousness. <laughs> that's the Munchie's origin, origin story. <laughs> yep, that's where he comes from. <laughs> so we were getting real hot and heavy, me, me and this girl. And I, I, was, I, was, I was touching that little vagina. I, I was touching those bubies. And and then, I, I got I got the blow job. I got the bloge, people. Nice. I, the I bloge. Got a, <laughs> I got a I got a nice. I got just just oh that 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 perfect inexperienced toothy seventeen year old bloge. Oh, the best mm -hmm. thing that you can experience in tray, life. Tray magnifique. Mwah. Yes. <laughs> mm. Mwah. <laughs> oh, it was so cool. So cool. Yeah, so. pretty cool. <laughs> So, so when, do you, when do you actually get laid? I'm not there yet. I'm not there. This, is, this, is, this yeah. story has layers. It has chapters. It's a saga. It's, it's an onion. onion. Like Shrek. Right. Okay. My, yeah. my, mine this was like a sentence like and a half. <laughs> yeah. This story is almost as good as Shrek. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so we were doing the stuff. Somebody once told me to roll me. Hey, me. depending on what year this was, that could very well have been playing. I know yeah, Jesse was yeah. a big Smash Mouth fan. <laughs> <laughs> so. Shrek is just the story of Jesse's life in, in yeah. ogre form. Taking yeah. girls back to my Astro Lounge and, and sexing right. with the young. Um, <laughs> In the so, fucking swab dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Back then in my old house, I lived in the upstairs. Uh, it was oh, very okay. different. Yeah, I had like a patio mm -hmm. on the roof that I could walk out into with a door. It was awesome. It was oh, tops nice. blueby. But anyways, you know, I was we were first we were at my house and I was touching on the vagina there, and then we we went and we hopped the fence over to her house, and that's where I got the bloge. So I, I got mm -hmm. the bloge at her house, but um. But she goes, oh boy, my my dad's gonna be home any minute. You gotta you gotta oh, get on out of here. So I. I fucking left, and I walked home feeling good. Oh my god, I got a bloge. I got a fucking toothy 17-year-old bloge. Oh my god. And I fucking, I went to my fucking house, and I went to bed that night feeling like, any day now, any day now, I'm gonna have the sex, the real sex. <laughs> the next day, she oh sends no. me a, a long message on MySpace. Oh no. Uh-oh. We went too far. Too fast. Oh no. oh no! I'm not ready for this. Sex with the young. Sex with the young. Sex with the young. It was a mistake. Sex with the young is a mistake. Don't do it. Sex with the young. It was tragically oh ripped away from me. <laughs> Eighty years later, Jesse still crawls the land to this day, looking for bloge. <laughs> Crawling through the desert, malnourished, <laughs> dust on my yeah. breath, sex with the young. <laughs> 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 fucking 
wandering the streets of of of, of the city of fallen angels, wandering mm-hmm. with my little cup full of spare change. <laughs> sex with the young, sir. Can anyone spare some <laughs> sex with the young? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the fucking the sheriff of Nottingham comes and pushes me in the mud and says, get a job. <laughs> he takes all my fucking spare sex with the young out of my cup. <laughs> like, you uh, almost had a whole one. <laughs> There's that uh, that uh, clockwork orange scene where your two old high school buddies, who were your droogs, they find you out on <laughs> yes! the street. They drag you to the fucking bathtub and just drown you for fun, just to watch you suffer. <laughs> We've got sex with the young. Where's your sex with the young? <laughs> <laughs> My every time Jesse, my loyal try to, Every time Jesse comes close to having sex with the young, it triggers the memories of the program he went through, and he has to yeah, like, right. becomes paralyzed, and his dick falls off, and he just can't even do anything. I, mean, Not I hear the fucking Beethoven. Yeah. No, they play fucking Macklemore. No, stop it, stop it, please. Oh, no, no. Uh. Yeah, I hear the fu- they gave me the fucking Ludovico technique where they fucking played that Macklemore song telling me I have too much white privilege and I have yeah, back to it. <laughs> no! Now whenever I try to have sex with the young, I have to read an article. Ah! <laughs> Little did they know that would create the greatest white privilege warrior the world had ever seen. <laughs> so, All right, Jesse, so she, Yeah, what the fuck else happened? <laughs> I need act three. So she broke. So she broke up with me, and I was fucking devastated. Not just because I liked this girl and I, and my heart was broken, but also because I was so fucking close yeah, to losing so close. my virginity, mm-hmm. and it was ripped away from me tragically. So, so as a young man would do, as like a, a however the fuck old I was, nineteen, twenty, thirty nine, whatever the fuck I said, <laughs> I raped her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. She owes you. She owes you at this point. It's time to take what I, she I, owes. Well, you know, I just I I flipped out. I, I was not mature enough to handle it. I was I was blown mm-hmm. away that I had gotten so close. So uh, of course I begged and I pleaded and I and I, it was and I and I did all the you know the the the, mm-hmm. the beta cuck you shit. I was very sex? pathetic. No, I didn't beg for sex. Bauman? I begged for her to like to get back with me. Oh okay, of course. I thought it was Jay Bauman back. I wouldn't in high blame school. you though. I'd beg for sex every day. Yeah, That's so my favorite thing to do. So so the, <laughs> so the so the breakup got really ugly and really weird. It got really horrible. She ended mm-hmm. up like telling. Like all of her friends at, at oh, school, God. that that I was like a like a bad guy or like a uh, creep or a pervert or something. Oh God! Like, what the it fuck? Was ter- it was fucking terrible. I fucking Bitch, I remember you got buyer's remorse. Yeah, th- this one guy who was like a, a friend of both of ours. Uh, I'll say his name, Chris Peters, because he's a fucking piece of shit cuck, and I hate him, and I hope <laughs> he burns you, in hell Chris and dies. Chris Peters. Yeah, uh, I hate him to this day. You know, he was like a, he was like a friend of both of ours, and he like sent me he sent me this message one day like out of the blue. Like, calling me, like, a, a sick pig, you sick motherfucker, you're fucking... Da, 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 and he's, uh. he's running down all these, like, made-up rumors of the stuff that I supposedly did. Typical orbiter behavior. <laughs> yep, exactly. She's the one mm-hmm. who sucked your dick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's yeah. the pervert. <laughs> you know, he, he coerced her, though. He was too sexual of a man. It's his fault. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was too long. I was, yeah. I was too irresistible, you know? I, yep, you know? Yep. I, I made That's her abandon her scruples, and, and she, she she couldn't take it. She had to, she had to lash <laughs> out at me. So I was like, I was like persona non grata. I was like fucking ostracized. My my personal and professional reputation was ruined in my own hometown. Right. Everyone <laughs> everyone hated me. You know, I was banned from the theater. I was banned from I was banned from the high school, even though I had graduated a year earlier. I, <laughs> they had to keep me away from all the young. <laughs> I'm sure they re- they revoked your key to the city at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. They, they tore down my statue. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, uh, <laughs> so at this point, I'm just, I'm just like a shell of a man. I'm just a, I'm just a fucking broken boy. I'm walking Sex around. I'm just a fucking, I'm just, I'm just a fucking sad, I'm a lost puppy dog boy howling yeah, at the fucking yep. moon. Bark, mm-hmm. arf, bark, arf. I'm fucking <laughs> lost in this world. I have no one. And I, and I'm feeling, I'm, I'm like, this is it. I'm never going to lose my virginity. I'm mm-hmm. going to be, I'm going to be like this alone. It's never going to happen for me, you know? I had gone through high school watching all my buddies, you know, one by one, high-five each other. One by one, they all had that morning, walking in and high-fiving each other at the fucking lunch table. And every fucking time, there were more high-fives that I wasn't a part of. I had to fucking, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, that does something to a boy, you know? Watching everyone mm-hmm. lose it but you, and then you fucking, and then you get so close, and you fucking, and I was just hopeless at this point. I was, I was on my fucking rock bottom. 
And uh, and I was like that for a whole nother year of, of like, when's, when's it going to happen? And, and so then, you know, and during that time, I kept trying. I just kept fucking, you know, when I fucking saw her on Facebook, I'd message her. I'd try so hard to make conversation with girls. Oh, God, Facebook mm-hmm. came around by this point. That's how long it took. Oh. Yeah, yep. Uh, I think uh, I think uh, the uh, the the dear John letter I got from Adriana was uh, was the end of MySpace for me as I had to go to Facebook <laughs> at that point, you know. And so the year went by, and there was all kinds of you know more awkward, terrible fucking things. There was a fucking mm-hmm. thing with a girl that I fucking spooned with one night, and it, it got weird. There was and she got mad at me, and that was and that made me they ruined my reputation even more. Uh, there was like five girls that I that I tried to rape, but they all beat me up because they all knew karate. <laughs> one time, it was fucking damn. It. All these karate girls got off a bus, and I thought they were regular girls, and I could d- I rape them. But it turns out they were karate girls. <laughs> <laughs> if it would any other bus, it would have worked like a charm. But yeah. not this bus. Fate just it wasn't in the cards in this day. And who's yeah. just gonna try the next bus? Like at yeah. this point, you're yeah, too, no. so demoralized. You're, you're, you can't you're all, you're all battered and beaten up, and you just yeah. you're like the wily e. coyote trying to get sex, and boulders keep falling on your yes. dick. Some, sometimes, <laughs> exactly. sometimes you just gotta know when to, to call it quits and cut I your mean, losses. All, all these damn acme broads, they always backfire on <laughs> yeah. you. What what I is mean, the Roadrunner cartoon but an allegory for male sexuality? That's really what it is at the end of the day. I mean, we all know that a girl's version of karate is to kick you in the balls, so he probably had, like, yeah. his balls were probably just in pieces at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I so, feel like this story is reminiscent of How I Met Your Mother, where, like, eight seasons of this story have nothing to do with what happened. <laughs> and, and the people are still clamoring for more at the end of it. They don't want it to ever end. <laughs> that, that's why the weakest last three they, seasons I've ever seen. They said, they say, God damn it, Jason Siegel, tell a new story, please. <laughs> Don't no, abandon us. It wasn't us. Jason Siegel. It was Bob Saget telling the story. I oh, never watched that, that yeah. shitty fucking Learn show. I don't know. Learn how I met your mother, Laura, you stupid I would fuck. rather fucking die than watch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> fucking oh, cuck show. It has, it has uh, that Patrick w- O'Neill. What's his name? Yeah, it's not even a real you know, anime. Guy, he makes funny Swayze. meme jokes, dude. All right, I need to know the rest of the story. Yeah. 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 I'm Neil Patrick we've Harris. It was Neil Patrick Harris. That's the guy. Surely we're near the climax. Neil Harris. So I fucking, I desperately tried, I tried for a year still to try and make conversation with a girl. I finally got a girl to to be, like, responsive to me, and it was Mm -hmm. another girl who had had apparently had a huge crush on me in high school and never Mm -hmm. said anything Mm -hmm. about it because I guess girls just think, you know, they don't have to say anything about it. It's my fault somehow. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. You know? There's another girl who finally is like, okay, I got her to come over. I got her to come over to my house. There's another girl who, whose name that I, whose identity that I will protect. I'll fuck. I'll give her fake name. Fucking secretariat. <laughs> <laughs> so this, uh, this, uh, this, this, this beautiful, this, this, this beautiful, gorgeous young horsewoman comes <laughs> to, to over to my house to ha- to hang out. And we just started kissing, and we just started making out. And I remember my, my bed was a futon, and it was currently in couch mode. So we were laying in the couch, on the on the couch in my room with the with the lights off. We were just making out and touching each other more and more for hours and hours. And we I I just I, you know got her clothes off. By the way, I have a perfect I have a I have a basically a flawless record except for that first time. Uh, always always sex on the first date, and ever since then no one will ever stop it. We were fucking touching, we were making out, and I got it in her. I got it. <laughs> right. Got her. You got it. You got Mon- it. Monkey, <laughs> monkey, you were absolutely right. The story had nothing to do with the ending. <laughs> The whole thing was just a big fucking shaggy dog. Well, see, that's what, that's what I was saying at the start. What, when you're talking you about a man losing a virginity, you're bleeds. describing you're describing a you're story describing of a man's a entire journey. life. It, that's you, right. You, yeah, you, that's you, right. You, you philistines, you had you needed the emotional arc to, to find out. Yeah. Yeah, without the emotional arc, you just get a Ben story where it's like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. No one, and that's no what the people want. Ben story. That's what the no people fucking want. Story. They want clear, concise, sterile Ben stories. Your story was awful. My story has fucking ass. My story has a fucking human element. That people can relate to. That's why people fucking love me. That's why I get the patron dollars more than Ben does, and always will. Oh. That's ben, why. I, I, I uh, when you began telling your story, I went out to like get some tea, and it took two minutes, and I missed the whole story. I, under- <laughs> I understand people. Hey. I know how to connect with people on an emotional level, and so uh, I, you know, as I was saying, 
I, uh, I mean, Ben, all ben I'm, okay. wasn't here for Nate's story, which saying. had the entire story of him going to Japan and coming uh, well, back. Well, that, that is super yeah. relevant. That is super relevant. I want to say about this okay, story, look, too. Look, look, I could have, okay, I could, right, I could have right. gone on about my life story leading up to, like, when I went to college and met a girl and all that shit, but, like, it's not relevant well, to the actual act of how I lost my it's virginity. It's totally relevant. Ben's... You have to know the fucking emotional arc. You gotta know about the fucking yeah. John Hughes prom. It's you gotta a, know about, about the, the fucking police cops who took my sword away. You gotta know about the 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 fence you, that I had to hop a fence. You gotta know yeah, everything, I think, man. I think Ben Ben might have elaborated more if he had heard the story. This is a story. Yeah, I, th I think I would know. have. And now I'm kind of fucking lamenting that I didn't fucking know what I was. Well, fucking maybe you should be on time to the fucking PC. This is a story ben, that right? expands from MySpace to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest expanse in God human history. I'm just, I'm just look. I could have. I God damn it! I could have spun a yarn. I could have spun y'all a yarn, but now it's too late. Fuck y'all! You don't deserve it. I don't care. Hey, Shut up! I'm not know, even done. I'm, we were making love, me and me okay, and me and, this, right. me and this fine, <laughs> this fine young mama seat. We were, we were, we were making sweet love on that couch in the dark. We made love for like fucking eight hours. You know, my mom came home and, and she's like, ah, blah, blah. And I'm like, shut up. I'm having, I'm making love to a beautiful young woman in here. Ma, get out of here. Ma, get, get, the, get out. And I'm fucking making love. And it was, you know, it was, it, it was, it was that very special kind of, kind of like awkward and terrible, but also passionate and awesome first time sex that can only happen that one special night in your mm -hmm. life with that, with that one special girl. And. And so we did it, and so, so then after she, after I took her home, I came home, and I was so amped that I just started eating everything in the house. I ate all the food in the whole house. I fucking opened up a can of beans, like fucking skull monkeys, cold beans, a whole a cold <laughs> can of beans. I just fucking blah, blah, devoured it like an animal. I was a man possessed. I was f fully in touch with the primal manimal beast, the ancient thing deep yes. in my lizard brain had awoken. And so then the next day, she came over, and we, we watched Rambo 2, we watched Rambo yes. First Blood Part 2, and, and then we, we did it a million more times, and then we dated for, like, a couple years, and it was a good time. And that was, it was, the, it was the most excellent. important story ever, better than Ben's, and that's all that mattered. Yeah. I, I think excellent. everybody's is better than Ben's. <laughs> you Ben's fucking, wasn't even really a you story. You fucking faggots. <laughs> all right, ben hey, just, hey. Be, before ben we... was a cliff notes of a... Of a... <laughs> <laughs> That's what he gets. Uh, hey, but before we move on, I, I just want, I thought it'd be interesting just to point out how because uh, you know everyone was saying Jesse went on for a long time before the actual act. Uh, but I think that that's really what's interesting about it, because to, to everybody yeah. out there who's a virgin right now, it's not like you just miraculously yeah. have sex one day. It is about a real a real life struggle you have to Here's go through. Them. Like Here. Jesse, both you and I had innumerable innumerable failures on our path yes, to actually having sex. Saying. Everyone has to go the through story. that. People, because right. because like you were saying at the beginning, we mm -hmm. all have friends who are virgins who are late yep. bloomers as we were and who who are who are losing hope they're going to they're going to lose hope as i once Almost did, but you can't lose hope because it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen if you keep trying. That's the moral of the story. That's why I had to tell you about all the, the, Dude, the fucking getting... the failures, all the struggles, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all the trials and tribulations. You had to get hear it. Getting a lady is exactly like working out in that it is an ability that you can start training at any time and get really fit and get really swole or get really good at getting girls. A any time you can start. So if you're Incident 80 fucking years old, just start now. And in a couple months, you'll have one. I guarantee it if you work Incidentally, at Incidentally, I might as well, it, for, for, for the, the members of our audience who don't also listen to the dick show, mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you dicks, the t two most important tips for picking up chicks, which have worked for tons of people. Uh, number one, your opening line, comment about their shoes. That's it a good works on one. all women, no matter what. If you just say, <laughs> hey, I like your shoes, it will it will be an opener. Just because talk they're about their shoes. Because they're shallow and stupid. You... I'm not even joking. <laughs> well, because <laughs> they care about their shoes. No, well, you... It's, right. it's no, something let me, very specific. Let, let, me fucking, no, let me fucking fix all of your wagon right now and tell you why that line works. It's not because women are stupid or because they're shallow. It's because yes, literally it anything can work. It doesn't matter what you say. Well, here's it doesn't right. matter that your opening line is a stupid no, thing no, about no, their no, shoes. No, 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 yeah, 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 about yeah, yeah, the shoes yeah, yeah, specifically yeah, yeah. is that all women wear shoes. Yes. And, well, for the most part, right. is that no matter what, they're going to be wearing it. Not but the it's, jungle sluts I'm fucking, dude. I don't know what they're <laughs> talking <Jungle> about. <laughs> <laughs> There's not, like... If you compliment a girl's, like, uh, shirt, you know, it looks like you're looking at her tits. If you compliment this or that, like, there's there's some things that girls don't, Want to be complimented on, or, or that it'll mean the wrong thing to them. But you're all if wrong. It's, it's just it's if it's the shoes. No, no, no. Here's why. 
It's because men don't think about shoes. You know, I, I drew a character right. design last night, and my girlfriend was like, where's the shoes? And I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't think about shoes. I am male. Right. So girls are not <laughs> accustomed to men commenting on shoes. So, so what, you what you're telling me is that what women want out of men. You're actually being considerate. So what women want out of men is a woman, is what you're telling me. All right. Step I think one what you need is to understand is that a woman is nothing more than a bigger six-year-old girl, and instead of dressing her <laughs> dolls, she's now dressing herself. Of course, Always with yeah. the red pills, monkey. Thank you for keeping us safe. So, we need to remember, <laughs> so aside we need from to that, remember though, women they, aren't people. Right. Okay, the shoes it. are the opening no, line. Children. And it's you know, yes. I mean, you can find – there's other opening lines you can use. I should have the other day when I recorded my uh, – my, mm. what was it? Uh, neurotic stories from Real Man where I had my failed story of where if I had just asked the girl about – the beer it would have been the perfect opener but i failed miserably if you haven't heard that story it's on there. my reddit um but so but but shoes are a universal all girls are wearing shoes compliment That's their it. shoes you don't even have to look at the shoes you so what, just what's good about this well, it's, 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 it's one you can women, use anytime it's because yeah. it's something yeah. that women put a lot of thought into is what fucking pair yeah. of shoes they're gonna wear and nobody mentions it all they hear all day is you've got a nice rack you've got a pretty face yeah. but you should smile more and your hair is pretty everybody says the same thing nobody <laughs> talks smile about their more. shoes yeah. yeah yeah and so and then the the second important line because you've already you've gotten yourself in the door with the shoes but now you're lost because you don't know what to talk about because you don't know this girl actually you're just you just started a rate of conversation so if things seem to be going well you bust out What's your dad like? Ask them about their dad. It doesn't matter if they have a good or bad relationship with their dad. Either way, they're going to open up and become more intimate in the conversation. And that's what you want. So, yeah. Well, well, now, Start this with is the all, shoes, th follow th up with now, the Now, what Digi's relaying you... here is all a bunch of, like, secondhand stuff that he's heard yeah. <laughs> another man say. From the, aren't you, you, you going to weird... From many callers into you, the dick I'll show. Give, I'll give people them. a real tip. I'll give people a jest tip. And this was is tried yeah. and tested. The, the true way to get women is not with some some magical pickup line that you're going to go up to some stranger just, and talk hey, to someone a, like that's going to happen. It's just a template. It's not something that's always going to work or that you should just guarantee. I think that people you need. Know. I think people really need to quit being bitches and be less afraid to fucking talk to each other in real life and go and fucking hit on a girl in public. Because who fucking you're, cares? Yeah. You're absolutely wrong, Ben, and I'll That's tell you true. why. Because no, anyone no, who no, fucking no. approaches any other human being for any reason in public is a piece of shit, and I want them to die. <laughs> hey, actually, I if have. If anyone tip. fucking came up and started talking to me, whether it was a man, woman, or child, I would snap their head backwards <laughs> and let them fucking twitch on the floor until their life escaped from their eyes. Hey, it's hey. I, no one should. I, I'm giving a fucking you. jest tip. God damn it! That's this is the. The only real fucking tip is to just fucking evolve into the, into a man. You have to have that women want to come to you. That's the only fucking tip. You fucking because if well, you yeah, fuck, sure. That's I have fair. zero respect that's, that's hard, for anyone though. who it's fucking a approaches thing. a stranger and tries to fucking hit on them. They just look pathetic to me. They look like pathetic little weak fuck no, boys. No, who have to fuck go out you, dude. Searching fuck for you. women like you a fucking caveman, like like, no. like a fucking hunter gatherer picking berries about? in the fucking jungle, like desperately, like standing out there like a bullfrog, God shooting your fucking it. neck sack out, pl saying, "Please, some woman in here, please like me." Hey, if do you like me? If you have balls like to go out pathetic. and try to make a human connection, put yourself out no, there. You're not having hero. Being not as cool as celebrated. Talking to girls. Talking to girls oh is scary, God. and it's scary, it's and it takes fucking, fucking it takes fucking fuck courage. It takes, balls, it takes dude. fucking yeah. courage. I'll yeah, tell yeah, you yeah, what I takes actually, courage. Yeah. Being a great man takes courage. Working day in and day out to be better at your fucking chosen profession than anyone else. To where you're so fucking good. To where you're so talented and so inspirational that women everywhere <laughs> flock to you. That you don't have to but go what, up to them. Look, that's most, what makes a real man. People, that oh, takes yeah, courage. That's, that's, that's what takes we should bravery. tell. That's what we should tell every fucking lonely guy out there. Don't approach yes, women. Yes, it is what we should tell them. Don't talk to women. Be just, a better just, man. Just, whoever you are, no matter what, just stay home and practice your shit or whatever, and yes, eventually you'll be so exactly fucking right. good Jesse, that every fucking girl so... will come and hit on you. Yeah, Jesse, okay. Yes! That's How bullshit, does this work Jesse, for people bullshit. in non-creative positions? It does, like, fuck it does. Does. Work, Fuck yeah. people in yeah, non-creative yeah, positions. That's what I thought. That's what They're I thought. less than human. <laughs> they don't deserve to live on my planet anyways. So, you know, guys, you know, everyone knows, oh, you just gotta get good at talking to people, but it's like, do you want to go through the whole pressure of failing at that over and over again? You're gonna have to, but I have a, a life hack for how to train up those skills in some regard without as much of the shame. 
Omegle. Okay. You know, whether or not the person that you're talking to is actually female or is actually 90 years old, the fact is they're a human. And if you and you can use that as like sort of like a punching bag to train your your strength of talking, breaking the ice, figuring out what question to follow up another question. Just go on Omegle for that, like hours into the one night thing that I've done. and I just done practice. Because when it goes wrong, you just pull the plug and you don't feel that much shame because they don't know anything about you. That's you what you got to do in real life. That's what you got to do in real life. I honestly that, feel mm. like that was how I leveled up my ability to fucking like talk to people and like give off the, the, the air of being natural and fluid in the conversation. I knew how to like progress the discussion without it seeming forced, but still being interesting. That was how I, I trained. You know, what happened to just being like a normal, like a cool person and you know, you hang out and you, you talk to people, you get to know people slowly in your circles who grow to like you because you're just cool and it Jesse, happens let me tell you. I have I'll no tell you respect what happened. for these cowards, these was chicken shit pussy men listen to me. who walk listen up to, to strangers. Me. It makes me sick to think that no, any okay, human you gotta stop, fucking, stop, if, if, you, if you're not fucking Everybody meeting strangers, listen to me. guess what, if you're I'm not fucking your meeting your strangers, then you're never gonna fucking expand your fucking circle. That's, all right, that's exactly the point. What happened, Jesse, is that the real world has changed and people spend their days alone. They need resources that they can use to go out and people. We don't just work on fucking farms now and you're you're co-mingling with people all the time. I mean, I, people fucking work IT jobs. They sit behind a computer all day. There needs to be things they can do if they're going to meet people because their day-to-day -day life doesn't introduce it's them to people on a regular psychotic. basis. They it's, have to. It's not like, no. What, what is psychotic is the lifestyle that we've all been living as humans in the 21st century where we live isolated, alone lives. We need to strategize to make our society function so that people have opportunities to have the real human interactions that What's you're talking psychotic about. Because they don't weird, arise naturally weird, anymore. primitive, like, this, this, this fucking primitive like standing around like a peacock going around fucking coming up to women like a fucking monkey and and, and fucking approaching strangers you know maybe some people don't want to be approached and talked to by a stranger maybe some people maybe shut up Mudgy! maybe some people fuck off holy shit maybe some people have social anxiety maybe some people don't want to be fucking talked at by a fucking stranger maybe it, people shouldn't fucking think it's normal to walk up to someone like a fucking psycho and start trying to hit on a fucking stranger who might not fucking want it it's retarded and psychotic and creepy and it's fucking it, it's like a you're like a fucking animal why no. is everyone a fucking goddamn primitive idiot so, but me? So you nope. advocate nope. for never introducing yourself to people never, and never, not never talk to anyone I just want to thank Munchie for coming in and peeing while Jess was screaming. Yeah, I, I heard that. I heard that. It was not I'm incoherent. Not sure if he was recording. Holy that crap! Or... I advocate being a regular fucking guy and like talking. No, you advocate Je Je being a YouTube star who women approach. That's what you yeah. said the first time. Yeah. How's that regular? Yeah, it worked for you. What about what about the yeah. rest of the world? Hey, Most hey, don't what about me and my blue subs? collar? Hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, right. I, I fucking, I was able to get girls before YouTube by being a normal fucking person who was just cool and funny. And you know, when I when I'd go around in my social circles and and I would fucking hang out with people. Where do you get these social circles? Where are you developing yeah, see, Jesse, social Jesse, circles? Jesse, because fucking friends have friends of friends. That's how human Where beings meet. The first friend. Where does the no, uh, I, the uh, no. What? No, no, you know your what? Friend zone come no, you from. know what? Look, I think if you've got a fucking healthy social circle, then yeah, you probably are going to be meeting new people in, in the course of fucking, you know, right. your circles, your circles connecting to other circles and stuff. Yeah, I think that's legit. But like, I'm talking about what if you don't have that? What if you're just fucked? Yeah, what if you have then no fuck friends? You. Yeah, what, what, what matters? What matters is thinking about this question in the context of the audience who's hearing it right now. And these people don't need the kind yeah. of advice like go be a YouTube star. They need tangible things I'm they can do. I'm giving them advice. Go be a regular regular person go outside and be like a normal I'm, nice guy look, I'm and just saying like, okay what if, what if sure. you've got what if you're what if you're like a bunch of what if all your friends are like a bunch of nerds who just hang out and fucking I don't know play magic the gathering all the time and you never go out and you never meet anyone well you then, know yeah. there's, there's, okay, well, there has been this invention called the world wide web and yeah. there are like trillions of dating sites that that are free yeah, that people go Just on and they. Own it's it's I'm not against, against that. that before yeah. Came up to you at prom and gave you a fucking blowjob a year later. If she didn't approach you as a stranger, you never would have got that blowjob. There job. we fucking go. There we go. I wasn't a stranger. I knew her. We went to fucking school together. But she's. Look, I, no. I'm sure Jesse had she to execute to make that happen. She me because she knew you know? me and liked me and saw me hanging out. <laughs> Nobody fucking should approach strangers Jesse, randomly. Jesse, okay. I, I, I What's agree wrong with striking up a fucking conversation in public? Because. 
I don't want a stranger to fucking talk to me. Well, I don't listen, want you someone know, to strike well, up you know, a Jesse, conversation. Jesse, Jesse, I heard a great the line once. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I want to say okay. this. All right. All right. Okay. People need to fucking... I think people should approach people in public. And I also think that people shouldn't be afraid okay. to tell others to fuck off. And like, I think... I agree. I think, I agree. That, I think that girls... I, I don't understand this sometimes. I feel like girls can get approached by guys and feel scared that like they can't tell them to just fuck off. And I... I I, I, I don't know. Like if if it's like alone in like a dark. Of course alley they feel something. fucking scared. Guys are stronger and might rape them. But if you're fucking in public, if you're fucking well, in a public place, you can just be like, leave me alone. I don't know. I feel like a lot of girls are scared to just be like, I don't want you to talk to me. Okay, maybe. And I know maybe some guys don't take that well, and maybe it doesn't always work. I don't know. Am I fucking crazy? I think that the way the world should be is everyone should be feel free to like go up and strike up a conversation with anyone else, and everyone should be free to just be like, fuck off, don't talk to me, and then we should all just respect yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. That well, would be. My, my ideal my, fucking my world. My vision for the world is that nobody should ever have to say fuck off because everyone should mind their own goddamn business and be normal. Jesse, Isn't I heard a great line. Roger every week. I heard a great line once, and and I'm going to say it to you now because I think it's really important for guys to think like this, and for women too, and it's that no woman ever walks out of the house in the morning not wanting to meet the guy of her dreams. And... If, if you just think about that, what the it's fuck kind of retarded pickup artist bullshit is that? Who gives it's, a shit? It's what do you mean? Who a, gives a shit? It's making a point that it, it's never a bad idea to try to introduce yourself to people because you never know if your re- I interaction disagree is going to be mutually it's very beneficial. bad to introduce yourself to strangers. Right, it's the worst right. thing a human being can do. Can I tell do. my story? This argument's Please. yes, my retarded. Okay, it is retarded. It, everyone is wrong but me. <laughs> okay. So, unlike some of our predecessors, I'm not going to give any extraneous details that aren't important to the story. <laughs> so, when I was growing up, I lived in a pretty poor neighborhood. Oh, okay. That was the joke. <laughs> the, joke the joke is that I said I wasn't... Okay, never mind. Yeah, but really... I got it. Right. We, we understand. Uh, but that actually is part of the story. I was just fucking with you. Yeah. So, yeah, growing up... Tell the fucking uh, story, was, bumpkin. I'm confused. They're wasting my goddamn time. Where did this truth end and the lies begin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When I was eight, I lived in a, in a pretty poor neighborhood, and I was actually, like, the kid who got bullied by everybody. Um, first of all, I've always been really short, so I, I automatically had the nickname Little, and everybody fucking called me Little. Oh. And I remember one time, th- the leader of the bully pack was named Terrell, and these fuckers would just chase me around the neighborhood, like, calling me a faggot and stuff. And I, <laughs> I would have to find... I'd have to, like, find places to, like, hide, like, inside, like, abandoned buildings and shit. God but it was damn. motivation. Because as I was aging, I wanted to not only, one, get taller, which never happened, mm-hmm. but two, prove to them that I am not a faggot and that I can have sex, goddammit. So I, I assume that one day when they were chasing you, they caught you, and that's how you lost your virginity. That's what happened. <laughs> yes. Right? <laughs> no. It's regular 500 days of the cut yeah. flyer. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, at that time when I was a kid, the only friend I had was named Kevin. And uh, he, he stood up for me sometimes, but he was mostly... He ended up getting peer pressured by the other guys to Aww. to also bully me. That's um, nice. But but Kevin, he, he was like halfway there for me, like when it was just me and him. And then in public, he's like, "Yeah, fuck this little monkey bitch." <laughs> oh, um, sad. But it, it, it's all part of the story. So I'm about, okay. I, I'm 15, and uh, uh, <laughs> Terrell, this guy I was talking about, he he really got me. <laughs> he, <laughs> I, he 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 just fucked with me at lunch one day, and I was like, you know what, fuck this. So I left school early. And um, my, my school was kind of uh, near a lake, so there's like a little beach that I would always go to. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting just in the sand, just like, you know, may- maybe today's the day I kill myself. Fuck this. Oh, shit. But uh, Kevin, he followed me. That's really um, sad school. He, that you didn't. Yeah, no. It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you made the wrong decision that day, Mumkey. <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> you, he said it's really sad you didn't kill yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, definitely. I still believe that. <laughs> right, okay, okay. But uh, Kevin saw what happened at lunch, and he, he mm-hmm. followed me, and he was sitting down next to me, and we were just, like, talking. And then he, um, he like, just reached over into my pants and started giving me a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I was like, all right. What? I was like, what the fuck? So, like, that's the first time anybody had ever touched my dick, and, and Kevin just jerked me off, and I that's came the in first, the sand. That's the first time anybody had ever had sex. Is this real? <laughs> is this a true story? This yeah, is a me- yeah, this, this is a, true a story. meme. This is a meme. We're getting memes. I'm not memeing on you. So, what uh, happened? I was taking a piss. 
Did you? Yeah. Did you? Jerk off gay. A guy? He's is telling, that he's telling a fucking fake story because he's insecure because <laughs> he's still a virgin. So after getting my dick jerked off by Kevin, I got right. the, the the motivation to to get revenge on Terrell. So I went into class and I picked up my fucking chair and I smashed it against the back of his head. Mm -hmm. Instantly expelled. I got arrested. Fast Shit. forward ten years later, I'm a twenty four year old. A uh, gang bang. <laughs> the, the God, what story is this? He's quoting some story. What fucking story is this from? It's not. And, uh, I, I, I get a phone call from Kevin. He, he's Damn now it. a chef. Is this the, wait, is this a plot of Moonlight? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> is that what this is? have seen Moonlight. God so. damn it. That's why it's funny. <laughs> so Kevin calls me. He's like, yo, little. <laughs> he's still going anyway. He's still it doesn't going. Now that the fucking like, jig is up. I was like, you know what? I'll go see what's going on with Kevin. You know, maybe he'll be impressed that I'm now a big, muscly black man. So uh, I go to see, see, from the me. beginning, I, I almost said at the start of the story, when you said Tyrell, I was going to joke, that doesn't sound like a white person's name. Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, well, I didn't want to bring. I, thought, I didn't want to bring race into it or anything. Well, neither, no, neither. I thought it would be funny, but then I remembered that Monkey told me that he didn't really grow up with any black people. Mm. So I thought, and that he definitely would have mentioned if the guy had been black. <laughs> Uh, so then I was like, well, maybe it's a white guy and everyone's right, going to think right. I'm now, racist. Please don't interrupt the story. He's still telling the story. What else <laughs> yeah, yeah, what happened, Mumkey? <laughs> so, yeah, I go to Kevin's restaurant. And he cooks me dinner. And uh, he, like, has a wife and kids now and stuff. But then, Is uh, Kevin's restaurant wow. called Kevin's Dog House by chance? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> But he was my dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we called it. That's what anyway. We how my it. how my story ends is uh, mm -hmm. he takes me back to his house and we have like this really weird, awkward like moment, and then it just cuts to black and we don't know what happened. Man, that, 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 that story, story was worthy of best picture. picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have given worthy it to La La Land. Story. <laughs> See, that's my story. I, Thank you, if, if not for and, the fact, and, and none of it would have happened if Ben Saint hadn't approached the stranger monkey in the sand and started <laughs> yeah. jacking him off. I, if, if I, we never would have figured out what that was if not for the fact that I've listened to Monkey's podcast about Moonlight. Yeah. That's the only yeah. reason I was able to pick up on it. Uh, I haven't seen the movie. Well, this has been a great waste of time. I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't suppose we're ever going to get the monkey uh, loses his virginity. Story, no, that's what happened. We? That's okay. what happened. That's, that's Davu, do you want to tell I, your God, story? Monkey, who, I who do we have left? So we got Davu and just Davu. That's it. That's just Davu. Okay. Well. Oh man, um, this is this is fucking fresh. This is fucking first, fresh. First of all, you know, I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna be coughing during this, so I'm gonna have to keep muting my microphone. I have some okay, tea fine. coming up in like a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go get that tea. It'll suppress <laughs> the coughing some. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be a bit disjointed. Yeah. Okay. In fact, I'm gonna do a, a small cough right now. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> you know that'll still be on the recording, right? No, no, no. Like, I didn't mute it on Discord. It's way I muted funnier the than it was cut itself. out. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm a professional. <laughs> Holy I know shit, what I'm that doing. was hilarious. Okay, all right. So I should begin this by, by saying that I've never been, like, particularly outstandingly interested in sex specifically. I'm not exactly sure why, but I've been much more of a, uh, a fetish person, I guess. I've, uh, yeah. I kind of grew up on deviant art kind of thing, right? Uh, like, I mean, I started jacking sure. off when I was, like, 11 or 12, I think. But I, it was, like, That's when I was typical. 19 when I had this moment of, man, you know what would be really good? To fuck a girl. Yeah. Man, I should really, like, do that. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I guess maybe part of the reason why I was like that is I was raised all Christian and stuff. So I was just sort of, like, mm -hmm. in a Christian environment where, like, all the girls around me you're not going to have sex with. I'm sure, like, the really cool ones yeah. are all, yeah. like, you know, getting it like in some sort of sub zones away from the eyes of all parents and all pastors and shit. I didn't know. I, I wasn't nearly on that level of cool. So you know, Davu, this isn't a, this isn't a criticism on you at all. But it's interesting that like the Christianity kind of suppression of sexuality seems to have the result of kind of pushing you to the fringes to be uh, into more you know. Absolutely. Yes. Stuff. Yes. Yeah. Without yeah. question. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I I assume that's why I'm like that. I don't know. So it's kind yeah, of strange. It's like. Growing up, not having anything close to sex, like, I hugged a girl once, that was the extent of it when I was 15. Oh, yeah! But it wasn't yeah, this, dude, it yeah. was never, like, me feeling bad about myself, because there wasn't this sense that anyone else, hey. it's like not feeling like you're poor because yeah. you live in some shitty you, you third world You were watching nation. the high fives hey, like man, Jesse hey, was. Yeah. Th that's, the, that's the stuff, man. I have sex with girls to get to the hugging. That's <laughs> yeah. what I value. <laughs> that's what I look for. Yeah, me, I, me too. It, it's like... 
<laughs> fucking um, good, 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 that's what they called me you know back in my college days good old desperate for an emotional connection Jess yeah <laughs> my <laughs> only desperate my only Jess but up but up but up but up but up I need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That's the one. Holy fuck. But yeah, like, you know, I've always, I've always wanted a girlfriend for emotional connection so I can hug something. Uh, and also <laughs> so I can do all the kinky stuff with it. I've you bought know, a lot of pillows that, to help be, with that, so. You know, so, um. <laughs> I recommend it. Yeah, so, you know, but, but again, it's just like the idea of getting a girlfriend in the environment I was in would be a huge pain. Like, you sure, know, my parents sure. have a pretty, like, free-form approach to parenting in a way where it's like, if you can make your own lifestyle happen, then you can do it. So, it, basically, if I was willing to, like, completely upend my, like, shut-in lifestyle and, like, obtain social gatherings outside of the purview of my parents over the course of years, I probably could have gotten laid, like, when I was, like, you know, 17 or something. I mean, I am pretty forward with girls, but probably in more of a uh, holding up a sign saying have sex with me sort of way, so maybe not in a <laughs> successful way, but I don't Is know. that a Christian method yeah. that you're but, uh, signing there? But, I mean, I got, like, a couple of girls who were like, I like you, and I got a girl to hug me, and who was gonna, like, go mini-golfing with me, but, like, she... God, this is she the was... hottest story! Of, this is the hottest one yet! Yeah, but, like, like the girl who was gonna go mini-golfing with me, who I hugged, she was, like, too nervous, right? This is the league that I'm dealing with. Like, she was too nervous to do something as steamy as go mini golfing with me, you know, like that, that this was just the kind of girls I was surrounded with, or at least the kind that are attracted to me. So yeah, you know, so it was just, and then, and then after that, you know, after I'm out of high school and stuff, or rather high home school, you know, uh, the first job I get and the only close to regular job I've ever gotten was just working in my family business. So once again, my dad and my brother are around all the time. And the only people we interact with are our customers who hire window cleaners and they're all in their sixties. So, you know, that's not going to work. Um, so you I know, doubt, I doubt many millennials are hiring window cleaners. Indeed. Yeah. 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 So yeah, we just have an app for windows now. So <laughs> what we, so yeah, so I, I go through sort of like the end of my adolescence also just in this like environment of not having anyone around. I do have, I did have two friends who I hang, hanged out with like once a week, every week, both were female, neither were like interested in me and I wasn't particularly interested in them, but I was around estrogen all the time so it kind of like kept yeah. me kept it in my mind i was like yeah you know i really need to get out there but like how you i don't have a huffing you were huffing the fumes of estrogen in the ass right, right hold on emanating let me let me go get my tea it's probably emanating from the bleeding puss of all the surrounding dude i fucking, I fucking vape tea. estrogen i'm way <laughs> in. Hold on, talk about estrogen while i get my tea <laughs> okay we'll do it. <laughs> uh, you know, uh... let's talk about this phenomenon. Let's talk about this phenomenon of being around girls because I find it not at all satisfying and mostly infuriating that I'm if, not having sex if, with if, them. If, if you're if you're not having sex, then being around girls is infuriating, right? And, and frustrating. Uh, speak I wouldn't know. I've never done it. Speaking of which, um, <laughs> I'm I'm recording this from my girlfriend's house right now, and when this podcast Ooh. is done, when this podcast is done, I'm gonna go lose even more of my virginity. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not okay, dude. That's not that's okay. That's been in the corner. <laughs> that's, that's been in the spot. Like losing, losing his virginity, <laughs> trying been... to keep a few. <laughs> <laughs> Try, it's it's been five minutes, so that you, that you know, virginity clock has reset. It's yeah, time to, yeah. it's, time it, to it, it, it's not a sudden. Again. It's not a sudden one year and it's back. It's a, it's a slow tick up to a hundred percent virginity yeah, over the course of a right. year. Yeah, like Bob Psycho. <laughs> but it's but it but it's an exactly. ex, but it's an exponential growth. So like halfway through right. the year, you're a, you're twenty five percent back to being a virgin. Mm -hmm. Like that, like that. You know what's funny? Okay. Um, we uh, okay. we had that argument earlier about approaching girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I remember. I just remember I have approached girls and had sex with them who were strangers. There so I'm completely a hypocrite. It's uh -oh, good. Uh -oh. It's good shit it when good it works shit. out, yeah. right? And the well, thing, as I, long as everyone's I'm, cool about it, and the guy, and the, like, like you, I think you can approach a girl and not be weird or pushy. And I think that I, and I highly yeah, condone yeah. that. I'm still yeah. against it morally. Mm. But Jess, if they weren't YouTube stars, how did you know to ask them out? I'm back, by the way. I don't understand okay. the question, Monkey. Okay, let's uh, continue to I was destroying to your argument with a single rhetorical question. Go ahead, Davu. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, it was, it, was, it was tricky. It's like, how exactly am I going to have sex? Like, I have a lot of space in my room, but it's not, like, quiet. Like, there's not that much, like, audio 
uh, suppression so like people could hear what's going on. So it's like, mm-hmm. who would I bring home? Like I don't have any like public social life. So it's like, who am I gonna? Who's gonna show up to my house? Who I've been like? It, it, it's just like tricky, right? Mm-hmm. I was trying here and there, but like tricky, 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 yeah. tricky. I don't whoa. know about you, dude. I want them to hear. I want them to hear my grunts and my slap yeah. sounds and my the, the dripping of my leavings as I as I abandoned this corpse on my bed. Are you shitting in the middle of sex? Is that what's happening? That, well, yeah. <laughs> let's all, not, all fluids are being let's, released. Let's yeah. not gloss yeah. over this corpse angle that emerged. <laughs> no, no. Moving story. on. Moving my, on. My, okay. uh, my, okay. The thing I look for in a girl is the more people I have living in my house, the louder I want her to be <laughs> yeah oh yeah oh yeah um uh, well so you know uh, you know when i then uh in september of last year moved into mm-hmm. this house it's like hey my parents do not know what i am doing at all i could like go to the airport well, digi could drive me to the airport and i could go anywhere now my parents don't gotta know shit about fuck so now I'm, now there's right. no limitations really as long as i can shell out the money um so i i just you know i was going to dating websites again and uh, I discovered one for a very specific fetish of mine, and it's like, sweet. And I looked at the profiles here, and it's like, the number of incredibly attractive girls who, are, who describe themselves in a way that is so perfect to me in regards to their kinks. I was like, <laughs> where, where have these people been all my life? They're just all here. And mm-hmm. uh, this website is particularly scammy with its uh, you know, paid membership thing, right? Where without mm-hmm. a membership, you can't... Uh, message anyone, right? You can't even read right. messages from Riddle. other people, right? Mm-hmm. For a like fifteen dollar a month membership, Jesus. you can send messages to other people. Don't worry, this is very important, right? You can send yeah. messages to other people, but they can't read them unless they are also a fifteen dollar. <laughs> m- yeah, yeah, so like the, the silver <laughs> membership, right? But there's like a eighty dollars for three months membership, which a, is the that gold was a membership. Fine but. <laughs> right, right, right. If you get a gold membership, which is expensive as hell, you can message people and they can read it even if they aren't a member at all, even if they don't have a membership at all. Mm-hmm. And I was right. like, aha. And I was like, you know, there's just so many good profiles on this website. I'm going to go th- for it. So I sank 80 bucks, right? And I'm Dang. like, well, I got three months. I better no, message everybody. No, no woman is worth that. I'm getting the impression this whole story is going to be very expensive. <laughs> hey, man, you got to do what you got to do in today's fucking economy, all right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I spent 400 something for that round trip to Montana. Nothing so wrong with that. Nothing mine was an expensive that. story already. Mm-hmm. Um, fucking. And it had exactly the effect I thought it would have, which is that when there's that huge of a paywall, the number of people actually writing messages is pretty small, right? Sure. sure which sure. meant. Like, an actual, like, perceptible percentage of girls replied to me. Like, one out of every five. And I was like, holy shit, this is exactly what I paid for, right? Because the, the girls on this website are not being bombarded with emails like they are everywhere else, right? The, sy- the system works. Right, yeah, so, like, sense. I was like, yeah, this, this is scammy as hell, but it works, right? So, eventually, I got a girl that way. And, like, very forward, very fast-paced. Like, the... the uh, like a few hours into our first conversation on a Facebook audio chat, she's like, "Yeah, great, we're great matches. What do you want to do about it?" You know, I'm like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, You feeling lucky, airplane. punk? I kind of so took a while, but eventually, you know, I flew over to her. At this point, she's just like a wreck waiting for me. And yeah. incidentally, like and she, she was in like a, a car si- wreck afterward. <laughs> well, she doesn't have a good home situation. Her house is really tiny and packed, so we're like, oh, mm-hmm. we can't be there. So, in addition to a plane ticket to Oregon, by the way, the actual opposite end of the country. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, okay, Even the actual opposite end Montana. would be Alaska, or, or I guess Indonesia. But anyway, fucking. <laughs> in addition to that, I also paid for a hotel. So, like, a lot of my money. Well, okay, most yeah, of my yeah. money. But hey. It's 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 to a good cause, right? To lose your virginity, the, no price is too high. It's right. got to be done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the first time, the first time special. Every time after that, you start Absolutely, to become. Yeah. You, your your nose grows longer and longer, and you get your hair gets curlier and curlier. What? And what? I don't know what and you're getting at. The star of is David this? symbol starts <laughs> emblazoning itself on your chest. <laughs> oh um, God. <laughs> yeah, you become more of a Jew, is what I'm saying. Well, I thought it was funny. Did you? Thank you. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, you. uh, I flew over to her, but yeah, it's in a little hotel, you know, it's, it, it, it's smaller than it looks. This is how I learned that all those, like, travel websites use, like, wide-angle lenses for the interiors, 
Mm-hmm. So it was oh, a really yeah. small room. Um, and we go in there, and she's just immediately because we'd been like, you know, just hugging and like smooching each other's cheeks for like, you know, fa- the she- for like Duh. like a whole hour That's now, cute. like in preparation to get there. So sure, at this point, sure. she's like, "Let's fuck! Come on, let's do it! Just go! Just go!" I'm like, "No!" I was <laughs> nice. like, "No, babe, we're gonna, we're no, gonna like babe, pace this no, out. babe. Come on, we're gonna like yeah. frisky. Yeah. We're gonna do hand yeah. stuff, and eventually we're gonna go." And she's like, "No, come on, just come on, just fuck me! God come on!" Damn. Uh, uh. And she's just awesome. like, she's just pushing me towards the bed. I'm like, "Oh, fine, whatever, you know." Um, <laughs> she, she really, that was like, it was like it was like fucking pulling teeth in there. Yeah, really. you, know, you know, you know that that's pretty fucking alpha, Davu. It'd be like, oh, yeah. no, it is. whatever. I guess. I guess I'll fuck you if you if you. I re- guess I'll lose my virginity <laughs> if no, I that's, must. That's hardcore. I, I like that. I like that. Yeah, a I mean, lot. later, like a couple days ago, she called me and was like, "I wish we'd taken it slower." And I said, "Oh, you wish you'd oh, listen fuck to me." Off. And she's like, yeah. Yeah. "Yeah." And I'm like, "Yep, I'm always right." <laughs> well, Davu, how does she feel about having been absorbed into and, the and group being collective? right? She, is uh, more pro- satisfying than the sex. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, Nate, well, Nate, what did you say? I said, how does she feel about having been absorbed into the Davu Collective to yep. be, you know, to combine her essence? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I mean, like, she would had sex before, but only, like, once. So, mm-hmm. you know, fucking. I mean, so she's, she's a member of a few collectives at this yeah. point. She I is, understand. like, four years younger than me. So, like, she's, uh-huh. um, she's going to turn 19 tomorrow. So it's, like, you know, sex with the young hashtag, of course. Um, sure, yeah. But, like, Fairly she wasn't, young. like, really experienced at all. But, like, mm-hmm. I was just, like, I, I, don't, I don't fucking know, right? And I had the same issue that Deji described, which is. It, it just wasn't enough pressure to like, like yeah. really like get much of a thing going on, and uh, I should probably bring up at this ladies, point that ladies do your was, kegels, uh, do your kegels, ladies out there. <laughs> yeah, she was also on her period too, uh, oh, and that was what kind a, of an issue. Oh. Yeah, what a, that's, that's unfortunate. Poor, flight timing, poor planning. Well, Cause, well, ah, what, cause I well, was, what can you do? You can't regulate. You can't. You can't schedule your life around that shit. You, you never you know. Could. I, you could. I absolutely <laughs> could have. I absolutely <laughs> would have. She had told me that it was an irregular schedule, right? And it is. But she said, mm-hmm. "Yeah, but it is toward the end of the month." And I was aware that when you'd schedule it at the end of the month, it was probably likely. But I was just God so damn. desperate to get you here as soon as possible. Mm. Why so, do women choose yeah. to make life so difficult for everyone yeah. else? So and, why, and, and by having happened, periods. And that's as the right, days went on, because right. she had already been going for like three days by the time I got there. But for whatever reason, mm-hmm. she had like this extra long one that lasted the entire time I was there. That was um, God trying to stop you, but you've defeated him. You didn't let him. You yeah. <laughs> killed God. You well, killed God it, with it, your it, mighty it pretty cock. Much, it pretty much uh, uh, didn't allow sex to happen for the most part, we only like did it like a few times. Hey, I made if you got it once, times, dude. That's enough. You no, know, I made her go a couple times. She didn't make me make me go a couple times because it was just so hard for me to get into the mood to do it because I was too squeamish yeah. about it. Yeah, you know, I, know I didn't want to make any stains. Some, a couple it, of things. The funny, got, the funny thing stain. about that, like the second time I went to visit my uh, my ex at the time, like she she uh, was on her period and like I didn't. Like, she didn't, like, just say that outright, that that's why she wouldn't... Because, like, it took, like, two days before I could convince her to have sex with me. And it was driving me fucking insane. Like, I was, like, flipping sure, the... Sure. I was, like, flipping shit. I was, like, that's why what is there. happening? Why mm-hmm. is it? And she was just, like, but I'm on my period. And I'm, like, I don't care. Why would I care? She was, like, it's gross. I was, like, I don't I don't fucking care. You can rub your <laughs> yeah. blood all over my that's body. I, I don't feel. give a that's fuck. That's how I feel. I, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I just I want to put my dick in that. I don't really that, mind my you know? body. It's just, you know, there's sheets everywhere. Which, you know, it was doable because, um related to the kinks we were participating in. We had those uh, oh, bed pads you oh. have for uh, bed wedding purposes. So you just put some of those down there on the bed, on the oh, mattress. What? That makes it pretty fine. But still, there were, it was just... One time so, we fucking... No, but, well, you, don't, you don't have to explain what your fetishes are, but did you at least get to indulge them in this yeah. trip? Yes, this but friendship? not a whole lot. Like, it was... Okay. It was okay. some. It's, That's it's good. funny. But you like, got to confirm whether or not you were, like... Like, because I feel like with, with weird fetishes and stuff, you always, like... You, you you expect that you're gonna be into it, but then it's not until it actually happens that you're completely sure. You're like, yes, I've confirmed now. I well, was as into this as I thought. It's really difficult you know? because her period and interferes <clears throat> with the fetishes. As well. It just interferes with everything, right. and like, uh, it was just well, a, you know, it was just a different sort of situation where it's like I felt yeah. weirdly less horny than usual there because it's like I'm, I'm meeting a new person. Well, I mean, not. Yeah. physically new to I, yeah, me. Yeah, I'm in a new sure. environment and I was really more just interested in hugging her constantly because I hadn't had yeah. someone to hug before. Sex and it was just is, nice. Uh, it was just nice know. and fun, you know? Um, yeah. I, so, I By the way, I think a lot of, a lot of fetishes are, uh, exist a lot more 
in the people's minds than actually performing them. You know, like a lot of them are yeah. just like the fantasy of it. I, I'm not saying that's necessarily you. I'm just saying that in general, I'm sure there's a lot of people who aren't actually into scat as much as like the porn they like to look at. Uh, right, makes them right, think they yeah. Are. I don't know. I'm, I'm into for, like for, a, for example, <laughs> for example, right, for example, right. Yeah, that's not mine. But like. Mm-hmm. Well, not exactly, but but like yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> as I said before, I'm more into like a concept type of thing. So it's it's more it's not as much about the physicality; it's more about the idea of what's happening. Like like yeah. by far yeah, okay, the best okay, the sure. best the, the best day that we had was toward the end when we went out and we Ubered around town, and she had mm-hmm. a sippy cup and she acted like she was like um, low functioning oh, autistic. Lord. And I was like talking to her all condescendingly. That was like the best day. An ice cream Whoa. lady handed her ice cream. I was like, "Here Where? you go." And I was like, "Fucking yes!" Whoa, Great time. Dude. What the fuck? That's, 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 see, I, it's that's just it's not so much about shit. coming. It's about having. It's about having fun yeah. experiences of life where you fuck with the definitions of society in ways sure. that no one sure. knows about. I so, I get it. I do get it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, no. I mean, yeah. So like. So yeah, we didn't wow. we, we didn't do a whole lot of I mean like she was never once able to make me come in any way like directly like she couldn't even jack me off because she doesn't she doesn't have she doesn't have the fucking uh, endurance like her arm just isn't capable God. of doing it like she you know she gets I, I, too I, tired I, I, as, as I will say I, I I mean I've only been with one woman but she was completely incompetent at the act of jacking my dick I <laughs> yeah. literally like well, yeah, she kept, they don't have the kind of she years like of wanted experience, to and you know? she kept trying and I was just like stop it you don't know what the fuck you're doing I mean for what it's don't worth like my dick with there was a hands. time where I was trying to <laughs> jack her off with like a little thing of jig and like yeah. my fingers were like were like were like splitting out because they weren't leveled up in the regards of of the the finger pushing but I was able to do finger basically she was way more horny than me the whole time you know that that's understandable okay, okay. um but yeah i had a great time just not a whole lot of sex so i i, I didn't mm-hmm. once come in her at all but you know we have plenty of, we're, we're gonna we're gonna see each other again somehow sometime preferably soon so yeah. but yeah the There's most important thing is we had a great time, time but even fucking... if it's a complete clusterfuck like it doesn't yeah. matter it, it, this is a skill to be learned anyway so nothing it's totally reasonable. Uh, I had well, a terrible time. I guess that's it. Yeah. It was a nightmare. Yeah, Has well, there that's been an all episode our... about fetishes yet? Because I want to hear about this low-functioning autism shit. No, it, but we should talk d- about that some other We had summer. a porn episode, and DeVue wouldn't come on because he didn't want to talk about these fetishes. Well, I'm just, <laughs> that's right. Well, that's I just right. felt like it would... It's not that I didn't want to talk about it. It's just that I felt like it would be too far along for anyone to be able to like deal with. Like well, People yeah. would be like, all right, yeah, all right. you're, you're not like on a level where... like. I can care anymore, but I don't know. I as time has gone on, I've ex- I've witnessed the extent to which P- the other PCP people and the viewers are are like surprisingly similar to me. So I might change my mind. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I'd fuck a retard. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, anyway, I think they... it, is, it is legitimately <laughs> offensive to me that people think that retards wouldn't also enjoy sex. That well, wait a minute. Me. Wait, how they should retarded be allowed. are we talking? I we're mean... talking full retarded. We're, we're talking we're, just, 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 just picture retarded. Nate. Just picture Nate. Yeah, and we're talking about that. As a retarded man, <laughs> Nate is offended on behalf of his people. <laughs> it's, it's a well-known thing that 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 like the first thing babies do, and you know, people with low IQs are like babies. They they'll diddle themselves. They'll play with themselves. They fuck with their junk. So why don't they? Why doesn't society allow me to play with retarded people's junk? I thought you were gonna say to play. I thought you were gonna say to. I thought you were gonna say to play with. I thought you were gonna say to play with babies junk. I know. I totally changed directions in the middle of that. But hey, whatever. Yes, I want to have sex with retarded people. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, all right, let's move on to the questions. Yeah. Okay. Wrap let's do it. Let's... I just want to say, Digi, when you were telling your story and when you were trying to do the impression of how your girlfriend couldn't pronounce that phrase, I thought yeah. she was retarded. <laughs> no, she. I think she. I mean, she just was stumbling. I think she was like playing up the fact I mean, she that she couldn't pronounce strength. it. She was holding but she you definitely, down. Yeah. She well, she playing was massive, it up. So. Weird. Like okay. the fact that she couldn't pronounce the word because she like, like, I just I think oh, she just like she, remember she's pretended to be you know? dumb so that you'll explain it to her. You know, it's like, it, it's like the exactly. old exactly. It's like the right. old saying goes: I would never want to sleep with a woman retarded enough to sleep with me. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, like, Thank the, you, the, Rodney like, Dangerfield. Her, <laughs> she'll never be she's forgotten. She's a very uh, she was a very like redneck mentality about like intelligence, which is like I'm a simple kind of person. I don't want to know these more advanced things. Okay. But then okay. what's attractive about me is that I sound smart and cool. I don't know. It's it's an odd combination. 
information. So she, you're kind of like it's... a fetish. The intelligence is like a fetish. <laughs> she's oh, a sapiosexual. Yeah. Would, yeah. Oh, there God. you go. There you go. I don't think she's like exclusively into smart guys or anything. It's well, just yeah, what sure, was sure. particularly appealing about me is that I use big words and have a good voice. You know. So. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyways. Would you like to do that. We almost got through the whole podcast without doing that. <laughs> Believe me, I did plenty of <laughs> pew, pew, <laughs> No <pew>. doubt. <laughs> okay, all right. For the love of God, let's move on to questions. Yes, please. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> please, no <laughs> more. <laughs> our first question here comes from uh, our good friend at The Hypocrite. Who Whoa. Asks, yeah, he asks, will I ever get a girlfriend? Sad face. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, you, you will. will. Yeah, Guaranteed. You ladies, will. this is the public service announcement. Everyone, get out there and date him. Yeah, He's, ladies, yeah. get on yeah. your butts yeah. and date him. I'm not, this is not condescending, live, people. If you Hypocrite happen to is live a wonderful England, person. If you happen to live in England or France, yeah. uh, then and you and you think mm-hmm. Hippo's adorable, go suck his dick. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The He's the coolest is, though, guy. If you're not already we, we in already, his friend circle, don't talk to him. We yeah, already found yeah, totally. we, we already found PCP guy, so now our next bounty is uh <laughs> virginity, <laughs> Girl, whichever fan can. Yeah. <laughs> if you want if you want a prize, a PCP prize, just like in the last yeah, one. Yeah, you'll get you a shout to. out on the show, probably right. from Hippo. <laughs> <laughs> we'll That's endorse right. you. Virginity should be a PCP we'll, uh, Patreon. That reward. should be a Patreon reward. Yeah. Well, no, because that's gonna make it harder for it to happen. Like we want, it should be no, given wait, away for free for on we'll, every street uh, corner. We should be throwing they get it. His, uh, his innocence. You know, there's just yeah, there's there's some. I think there's a real psychological incentive. If you have to pay for something, you you want it more. So maybe we could set up some reward system. All right, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Gibbo's a great guy. Uh, I, I love him more than anyone, especially Ben. Uh, <laughs> everybody, uh, go, uh, I'm just saying, his girlfriend. Hip, yeah. Hippo's hippo's short, but he's got big hands and big feet. So that's true. And a big dick. That's not implied, <laughs> just the likelihood. You know, you know what they say about guys with big hands. You can trust them. <laughs> that's right. They're capable right. men at physical labor. Okay, what else we got going on? Is that a joke from uh, Trump? <coughs> it's a joke from no, Marco joke Rubio. Yeah, yeah, Marco yes, Rubio. From Marco Rubio. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, you know what they say about Rubio. guys with little hands? You can't trust them. Yeah. So it's, and yeah, if there's any, topical. if there's any, if there's any young girls, any, and if there's any sex with the young kind of girls in the audience, you know, this is throwing this out there. <laughs> I have a really comfortable new bed. And yep, if I'm not yep. fucking oh, someone yeah. on it, by the end of this podcast, I'm going to shoot up a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you want that on your conscience, ladies? Come on. Yeah. You, had the, you had the power to stop this. I need that <laughs> sex with the young or people will die. I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Uh, and if you're 12, my buddy King Critic is looking. For oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, yeah there, the now there's a guy we should get on here for the sex with the young episode. There's like, yeah. there, there's like a there's like a hierarchy of what of what everyone's looking for. Like 12 to 15 yep, yep. King Critic, 15 to 18 Endless Jess, 18 to to to, to London Hippo. <laughs> if, if, you, if you if you like look like you're like. Uh, 14, but you're actually like 90, then that's where I come in. <laughs> yeah, I want I want footage of this event happening to the to anarchy in the UK playing in the background as this kid Hell yeah. loses Hell his virginity. Yeah. All right, uh, okay, here oh, we go. I wish I could question. lost my virginity to anarchy in the UK. <laughs> anarchy in the fuck. All right, here we go. Uh, at Cybershell asks. Uh, this is a question I, I think is cool. I don't know if, how, if you guys have seen this, but um, what do you think about Lasagna Cat, and why is it the greatest web series of all it's time? It's top kick. It's yep. the greatest. It's fucking. It's it's taking you know it's taking it's taking the shit that is Garfield and just and just alk. It's like that scene. It's like that scene in the Holy Mountain where where Christ shits into the mm. into the bucket and the guy alchemizes it into gold. That's what they've done with Garfield <laughs> into Lasagna Cat. That's right. Yeah. Um, the rest, none of the rest of us have seen uh, the seen Holy it. Mountain. Well, or, what the uh, fuck? I haven't seen it either. But well, I that, well, that happens, I, I and say it's a that good metaphor. It's an insult to the glory that is Garfield, <laughs> the greatest comic of all time, and how dare they mock it in such a fashion? I haven't seen the new ones, but I, I won't out of principle. Let me, let me just say <laughs> for uh, my love for to... Garfield. 
For anybody who isn't familiar, uh, there was this series that came out like 10 years ago and stopped nine years ago called, uh, uh, you know, um, Lasagna Cat, which just takes like comic strips of the of old Garfield it's, It takes like the and, worst and most banal co- Garfield right. strips that there are and then enacts them with guys in like in like fucking what do you call them like fursuits basically fursuits basically yeah and, yeah and and then they they enact the strip with like this overblown laugh track to it and then they take what they've just done and they fucking cut it into like this fucking spicy ass music video and yeah, like they yeah. fucking just <laughs> jam out to this <laughs> shit and and or sometimes recently... it just dissolves into absolute mania oh yeah I, yeah i feel like i'm having a fever dream suicide is painless it that one's brings great. That's on one of the many best. changes and i can I take, can take or, leave or leave it, it if i, I please. please all right next question i don't know what the fuck you <laughs> oh, guys are God. talking oh, about. i was just gonna say and the series came back miraculously I, nine years later out of nowhere and I'm, just dumped like I'm, 20 episodes i'm stunned and i have to go watch it soon it's, you watch them oh god the 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 things they've done with this phone bank like the newest episode fucking insane anyway go check it out everybody watch lasagna find Candy the rules. episode where um odie is wearing a bag on his head that's my favorite one i can't remember which one that is but they're all it's, watch them all they're he, all good he dies and he goes to heaven and then he gets gets sent to hell Oh, God. <laughs> my my personal favorite is the Baila Mos one, which is just like a Garfield dancing to spicy but, uh, fucky Ricky. I work Baila Gato. Baila Gato. Baila Gato. No, no, senor. No, senor. <laughs> okay. Anyway, all right. This is this is a fascinating oh, question. Man, okay. What a bad this question is, that ruined the whole podcast. <laughs> okay, but this one's great, and this one's really God. Okay, just think about this. Okay, at out sin asks. Okay, what's <laughs> this fucking question? What's the worst case scenario for each of the PCP? And that's it. What's the worst the case? Worst like case what? Scenario. That, I'm that, just thinking about you, that all I think, the that possibilities. I, my skin ripped off one chunk at a time. <laughs> that I die. That that I die <laughs> in any fashion ever is the worst case scenario. Best part <laughs> yeah, about that, it's 100% like guaranteed we, to happen. <laughs> Fi- yep. Finally getting my consciousness put into a computer and becoming immortal, except it turns out that it's just torture for all time. Uh, oh, I have God. no mouth and I must scream. Th- that story. Yeah. That's the worst case scenario for any of us. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good answer. Uh, I, yeah, my worst case agree. scenario is just normal immortality in my normal body. Yeah, because yeah. you long for death. You long yeah. for death. Yeah, okay. Right. I'm with you. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm my worst case digit. scenario is all the uh, all the innocent children at the hospital who are gonna die if I'm not having <laughs> sex with the young by the end of this podcast. It's still a thing that's really gonna happen. I've got We've my got, gun. We're right on a now. timer now. I've what do we got? Like swords. five minutes. I've got my fucking my my ninja daggers. I've got shurikens. Got I'll kill back. children with shurikens. Uh, <laughs> I've borrowed I borrowed some ninja stuff from Shinobi Three. You know what's you know what's really <laughs> sad. You know what's really sad is this podcast isn't going to go up for a while. So by the time it goes up, it's going to be too late. Those kids oh, are done. No! Those kids oh, are gone no! already. Yeah, viewers, done? viewers, <laughs> it's my, a shame. What, what have you done, scenario? viewers? <laughs> My worst case scenario is if I have cavities right now because it, it might just be weird staining on my teeth, which is what I thought it was. But now I'm like, oh, it might be cavities. And I've never had cavities before. It's been weird. a, it's been a issue. It's been a matter of pride for me. And uh, my cousin once told me many years ago, don't get cocky with your perfect teeth. I first got a cavity when I was 22. Hmm. Well. I'm 22, and I might have cavities, and I, I, I just don't like being oh. wrong, so that's the worst case scenario for me. <laughs> Shit happens, Fair enough. man. Fucking, I, I might have another cavity, and it might be taking my tally up to literally 30. Uh, well, Jesus. brush your teeth, kids. Don't be like this man. Uh, here, okay, yeah. here's, uh, here's you one You know the best question. way to, to not get cavities is to never go to the dentist. You never... <laughs> 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 yep, yep. Nate, I think you should read the question by Monkey Jones. I think now's the time. Is that from? Was that from the very start of this thing? Let me scroll back up. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, that, that that is a good one. Okay, at Monkey Jones asks uh, opinion on kicking Ben out of the PCP. <laughs> well, I think we just made our case pretty eloquently just I, now. I vote for. Yeah, I vote pro. <laughs> we all I vote it. pro. Let's do it. All right. I believe we were once talking about the idea of making the PCP more like Zoom, where it's a rotating cast of young people, where like once you turn thirty, you're out, and it's only twenty something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. It's almost done. And then and then you know I'll I'll have to go and form my own PCP with blackjack and hookers, and then. T- Tom and Jess yeah. will, will come along shortly, I hope, if they'll have me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, okay, let's do one more because this is a topical question. I'm just I'm curious what you guys would say. So at Spacco 306, who's actually been making a bunch of cool PCP gifts, keep making those, dude. They they amuse me. Uh, any thoughts on the Nintendo Switch and or the new Zelda? You gonna buy one or not? No, nope, I'm just I don't, curious if you guys. Are I hate buy video games. Okay, gotcha. Okay, uh, here's my. Th I have a very very thorough thought, which is that okay. I was watching Vic play Breath of the Wild on the uh, broke college students edition, the Wii U version. And mm -hmm. he was, like, in a little shack. It was, like, a worn-down shack college. with only a couple of beams of wood here and there, you know? And there was just, mm -hmm. like, one, like, like wall of wooden planks that was, like, you know, a, a few inches higher than Link's head. And okay. he walked up to that wall and pushed some button and jumped over the wall. And I didn't think he was going to be able to jump over the wall. And I was like, oh, I'm convinced this is a 10 out of 10. Well, I am not convinced, but I do want to play it. Well, I, I did buy Breath of the Wild, but I bought the Wii U version for poor people. Mm -hmm. I haven't yeah. played it yet, but it's Yeah, it only looks poor people strange. have a fucking Wii U. And, well, I'm, what are you I'm... talking about? <laughs> I think Monkey's saying he's uh, too poor to even have a Wii U. Oh, shut up, Monkey. You've got all that fucking book money, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> One whole month of rent, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I am going to actually buy a Switch just because it looks cool and I want the games that are coming out. And I, I don't have a Wii U, so if I want to play Zelda, I got no fucking choice. So I'm going to get one. They okay, got you cool. by the balls on this one. They do. By the balls. Uh, all right. And uh, there was another question about oh, why all the questions I'm doing are it, shitty. guys. So there you I'm go. I'm doing what? it. I'm having oh, sex with it. the young here on yes. the podcast. All those yes. children yes. are saved. God. The yes. hospital is it's saved. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Asian wife. Yes. Asian wife. Hot Asian wife. Hot Asian wife. Hot Asian wife. Hot you did it. You wife. all, you all saved wife. the children. You Hot saved Asian the children's wife. hospital. <laughs> Thank God for Thank um, God. for that girl. She's gone now. I'm so I'm so proud of us. Yeah. yeah, we really did it. We really what a this was a fucking... this was a wonderful arc that we've journeyed yeah. on throughout this podcast. All right, is uh, that it? Yeah. yeah, we're done. All right, Thank thanks God. for listening, everybody. Woo, that was an exhausting. Everybody, one. everybody say goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.